Hello, so sorry. I'm a little late per usual, but I had to update oh. I had to update my graphics driver. So don't mind me as I'm pulling back up like Twitch and all that fun stuff. Hello everyone, hello, hello. Hello, hello. How's it going everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in. I hope everyone is having a fantabulous day. Hello, hello, hello. Don't mind me, just setting up per usual. But how's it going, y'all? How has everyone been? I have been so busy. And I literally plan this time of year to not be busy because, you know, hey, Gadget, how's it going? Because snow, I don't want to travel out in the snow. So why would I plan this year to be busy? Hey, Melody, how's it going? Welcome in. Hello. Ah, I need to fix this lighting, but it's like the higher I turn it up, the worse it gets. It's okay. We'll live, we'll live. But hello, hey Lincoln. Lincoln, you said I just sneezed on my monitor's rip. Bro, I hate that so much. <laughs> I hate that so much. All right. I did go through some VODs and I am gonna turn myself down just a little tad. Cause it is peaking a little bit. I gotta mess with the um the settings a bit. Like my lighting for one needs to get back together. So it's that weird vibe. Hi, hi, how's it going? Gadget, you say it's the Lotro Geography Expert? Barely. Bro, it was so funny. I can't, I'm so happy I can finally talk to you guys about the Louis 7 video and you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about now. <laughs> like, literally, there's so many, there was like a couple things y'all mentioned like previously in other streams where I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been here. Or like, I, I remember this. Or, oh, there was this funny moment when, you know, in the video, you know. <laughs> How's it going? Hi, how's it going, Gadget? How's it going, Lincoln and Melody? Hello, hello, welcome in, y'all. Uh, I still need to say that I'm going live, but uh, I do want to talk with y'all about a couple different things. Um, and I don't know what I should talk about and what I shouldn't. There's a lot, like, personally, that I'm kind of going through lately, um, which will probably get told at some point. I'm probably going to make a whole video about it because it's been, like, crazy. Like, life's been wild. Um, but in the meantime, the Louie 7 video finally went out. Lotro Gia Guesser, everyone. Um, I want to give another huge shout out to Joran because I literally went to Joran with this idea like two years ago. <laughs> it was like two years ago and he literally did like he made the whole presentation two years ago and then like two years went by and then he was just like, are you ever going to do the video, Aubrey? And I was just like. I will, I swear, but I wanted to do it with like a lot of creators. The problem was I didn't know the rules. So then September happens, you know, Louis like, oh, hey, you know, video collab you in. And I was like, sure. And then that's when we did the class ranking videos. And then I was like, wait, if we're going to collab, I need a video like we got to do this. Like it's Louis, bro. OK, so I was like, listen, <laughs> this is what I got. But like it was a mess. And editing it was a mess because I did not prepare, but I'm glad the video turned out. That's all that matters. Uh, Gadget, you said, when in doubt, there's always Yule. Dude, Yule Festival, I'm super pumped for. I have a video I am literally have to get done tomorrow that I barely started for the festival. If it doesn't get posted on Thursday, it's definitely going to get posted on Friday. But I have a video coming out for Yule Fest. I'm so excited. Melody, you say, oh, I need to go watch the video. Shall I do it after stream? Yeah. You could do it whenever, honestly, Melody. It's up to you. I'm going to be rambling here for a little bit in the beginning because I do need to go over a couple of other things. Uh, but definitely check out the video. Actually, since I'm talking about it, I might as well pin it because it's the first, it's the first video in like several months that I've made. So like it's low key a big deal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's really not a big deal. I'm just glad it's finally off of my plate. And like, this is like the biggest like motivation I've had in so long. Like, I'm just, oh, it's so great. Hi, you say, I have a question. I've never played any of the cast slash wizard classes in Lotro. 
which one do you recommend I should start with? Well, honestly, I really think there's only one, which is like Lore Master. I feel like that one's the only true like cast slash wizard class. So you could do Lore Master, but I would definitely not recommend that because it's a little tough. It's a little tough. But if you play Lotro before, like I think you have high, you'll probably get the gist of it relatively quickly. So it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. Um, Roomkeeper is always a good, it's always a good average class to do, I'd say. It's a good average one. Um, like when in doubt, just go Roomkeeper because, yeah. It's a good, it's just like a good middle of the line, uh, class. How do you spell guesser? How does one spell guesser? Lotro Geo guesser. Um, right, 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 I forgot to put the word geo in front of guess. That's why I was like, something doesn't look right here. <laughs> Gadget, you say I always recommend, uh, I always recommend Lore Master? Heck yeah. I mean, Lore Master's all right. They're cool. They're cool or whatever. They're they cool. They're cool. Uh, come on, YouTube. YouTube, I don't want to like my own stream, okay? I just want to- I want to get my three dots, okay? I want my three dots. Oh, here we go. Okay, I outsmarted YouTube. All right, so it's pinned on YouTube now, and Twitch, here is your Lotro Geo Guesser pin. Yeah, I- it is like Guesser. I keep wanting to write it as Guesser Melody, but it's not Guesser, because it's with that R. Like, it's spelled wrong. It's spelled wrong. I don't like it. Yeah, Geo Guesser for the <laughs> website. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we got to copy the website, because SEO, right? <laughs> got to get that search engine. Okay, sorry. Um, real quick, I want to bring to your guys' attention something because, um, I do not have it on. So, boop, boop, Operation Santa. Operation Santa is still going on, y'all. We are at 20% of our goal. And, um, do not forget, if you're able to, please, uh, donate towards Durian's Christmas wish list. Uh, Operation Santa is run by the United States Postal Service, and more or less, Durian and his family wrote into us, or I guess not to us, but to the USPS, you know, <laughs> and asked for a couple of things that otherwise they can't get for Christmas. So we adopted his letter, and uh, I just wanted to reshare to definitely donate to that if you can. If not, feel free to reshare the link out. It really mean a lot. I have his Jenga set back here. From um, this is from Cinticat's donation, um, and then Goldwyn's donation. Uh, I'm gonna get Durian some clothes still, so they they will be on the way. I gotta order them still, but they will get ordered. But the deadline is December fourteenth, December fourteenth, at like eleven fifty nine p.m. or whatever the heck you know. We'll say it, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, if you guys could donate or at least share out the link, cause I I totally understand that like. Dude, like it, it'd be tough. It'd be tough for real. I get it, especially because it's so close to the holidays. But it would mean a lot. I would love to get Dorian some more things off of his wish list. So I'm gonna keep promoting this. I gotta do better about talking about Operation Santa more often from now on. So my bad, but um, yeah, just putting that out there for anyone who can, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, in the meantime, though, I did not write that I was live on Discord still, so I need to get ready. And Muriel is with me, uh, just FYI. Muriel is in the house, so she will. <laughs> she's gonna jump up on my desk. I'm pretty sure she's about to jump up on it, like, right now, as we speak. But, um, yeah, so if you hear a cat in the background, don't, don't mind her. Don't mind her. <laughs> Melody, you said, why must they ruin the English language? You know, because copyright, you know? <laughs> That's probably what it is, why they couldn't put guesser, or, like, maybe it was just because, like, it was their own thing, you know? So they just put an R, in, like, at the end of it instead of E-R. Like, it, it's just crazy. <laughs> Melody, you said, oh, we, do we get cat typing? That's always fine. Dude, I was so mad. I was, like, so I was up finishing the louis 7 video at like 3 a.m okay 
my laptop is at like max storage right now so like exporting it was a pain in the butt so like whatever it's exporting bruh i'm like laying in bed like trying not to pass the heck out and literally muriel went over my laptop and proceeded to stop the export of the video i was so teed i was like this cat this freaking cat really about to do this to me right now okay <laughs> how dare gadget said if you want the cat to jump up on the desk build the jenga tower there she'll be up there in a second oh my gosh yeah she'd be like she'd be knocking she she'd be knocking it over like it would be done it would be done muriel would be in her her crate that's for certain oh my gosh gary thank you so much for being a youtube member you're the very first weirdo supporter on youtube gary okay to celebrate that that's awesome thank you i appreciate it holy crap thank you welcome in i hope you're having a great day and i swear i'm about to start low tro everyone i'm about to start low tro okay <laughs> hopefully there's no updates uh, i i don't think there are today it's tuesday we should be fine all right muriel is now crying because she wants out so bad this poor cat has been locked in my room forever uh do, do, do. gary you say you're very welcome thank yeah i appreciate it so much thank you that's so awesome you're the very first so you get to you get to say that now you're the very first weirdo support supporter gary i really truly appreciate it it means a lot and muriel's happy too she just jumped up she's like hey how's it going <laughs> that's awesome muriel say hi say hi to the chat she knew I was going to start playing Lotra. I literally was about to launch it. And she's like, no, no, no. Hey, Muriel, chill. Dr. Zero, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the weird community. Hope you're having a good day. Muriel, what are you doing? Muriel, stop it. I guess I'll get my pens out of the way because she will mess with those. Ah, uh, the joys of having a cat. Melody, cat heart, yep. <laughs> Muriel, hey, Muriel, stop playing with the Jenga. That's not your Christmas gift. You've got a Christmas gift coming. Uh, she's got like a little dirt on her ear. Aw. Muriel, you want to say hi? Want to say hi real quick? <laughs> she's trying to get to my Diet Coke. <laughs> this cat, I swear, she does not drink Diet Coke. She's not allowed. <laughs> she's not allowed, y'all. I swear, I swear. I do not give my cat Diet Coke. I promise. I do do all right i am loading up lotro determine your discount save up to 30 percent now through december 7th oh yeah that's right so if you guys are not aware don't forget there is a lotro discount going on and more or less um i believe it's that you get 10 percent off three items 15 percent off two items or 30 percent off one item it's kind of your choice now I want to check this and make sure. Hold up. But um, yeah, there is an awesome little discount going on with Lotro. I don't think they're going to have the quest packs on sale, y'all. I don't think. Ugh, now I'm starting to have allergies for my own cat. Lovely. Um, yeah, so just FYI, I don't know if they're going to have an end of the year quest pack or like uh, expansion sale like they typically do. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, ooh, it's looking a little cringe. I don't know. It's not looking too hot if they haven't released it by now. Gadget, you said she's checking the tower out. She knows the ancestral enemy of her people. Oh, oh my gosh. She's ready to go to war, which makes sense. Muriel is like, she's a huntress. That's what I call her. I call her Huntress Kitty. She's like a little hunter. Okay, uh, I can allow it so that you guys can see the screen yeah that's just a little important right uh i just smacked my whole mic sorry guys i smacked it on my diet coke Ugh. yeah okay uh the good news is y'all i'm literally streaming like four days this week so uh if for whatever reason if you're ever busy don't worry because there's plenty of streams there's plenty of streams happening Gadget, you say I bought a stack of 10 
rep accelerators with the 30% off. I hate farming rep in new expansions. Ooh, that's a good idea. I honestly don't buy rep accelerators, but that's not bad. All right, I need to move over. Or actually, I'm gonna move my camera just slightly. Sorry, y'all. Poor Jenga is gonna be out of the shot now. How dare. Okay. All right, so where we were at last time, we hit level 100. It was a great day. We've been accomplishing so many great things, y'all. I'm, I'm just so, I'm so proud. I'm so happy. You guys are awesome. Hey, Noah, how's it going? Hello, hello. Um, but we hit level 100. Took us three years to get here, but we finally got here. And um, now I'm a little lost because I'm a, I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed, we'll say. And I am a little lost because it's been a while since I've been in Gondor. And I've only played this once, like, ever, and this was, like, several years ago. Um, so, uh, I, I, I'm gonna check my mail first. I'll make it easy on myself, uh, because the reason why I'm so overwhelmed is we have so many introduction quests now. Like, far- is it Anorian? Is that how you say it? Far Anorian? Old Anorian? Like, we still have to go out that way. And then there's even Eastern Gondor? Like, what? Huh? So it's just a little tough. Man. I'm trying to fix my mic. Sorry, guys. <laughs> trying to make it so I'm not shouting in your guys' ears or something. Oh my gosh, bro. Stop sending my stuff back to me. If only, if only I went on my alts. I will definitely be going on my alts for uh, Yuletide, for sure, for sure. There's just no way I won't. Ooh, all right, I need more inventory space. I think I'm gonna have to find a bank and like just start trashing some stuff, man. It's looking rough. It's looking real, real rough. Um, yeah, so we got a lot of places we could go. We've got one all the way up here. Where do we have to go up there for? Oh my gosh, we have a ring all the way over like by the central gondor sign. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> Gadget, you said Yule Tip. Assuming Hobbit presents work the same this year as the last, the daily present has a chance to contain Yule stuff. Wait, really? Dude, that's sick. I want that to happen. I want Yule Fest stuff. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have a video on Yule Tide Fest at some point. Like, if not this week, then definitely next week. I'm trying everything I can to get it out on Thursday, but we'll see. But, um, anyway, if you guys have not experienced Yuletide, you need to. Like, it is fantastic. It's a lot of fun. The rewards are, like, pretty good in comparison to other festivals, in my opinion. But I just think it's a really fun time. And for anyone who hasn't experienced it, you need to experience it. I'm telling you, Yuletide is so much fun. I'm so, so hyped for Thursday. Like, I have all these meetings on Thursday, and they're not going to be fun, okay? They're not going to be fun at all. I just know they won't. I know they won't. It's not going to be a fun time, but I, I'm not going to let that ruin my fun of Yuletide. How I help you, friend? Thursday, I'm about to be pumped. <laughs> I'm going to be pump pumped as heck, guys. It's going to be a blast, trust me. Uh, but we're literally going to Yuletide on... Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> Probably Sunday. But it is finals this week, so I gotta be a little cautious on my time. Melody, you said I got a random goat steed and a gold present once. Y'all is awesome. Heck yeah. Dude, one time I got this really cool horse. I got this twice, actually. I got it on my champion and a lore master. But I got this really cool horse that's not easy to get from a hobbit present. And I can't- oh, it would help if I was actually in the mounts. I was like, where is it? Well, yeah, I got a skeleton painted horse, and I got to choose what color I wanted, so I chose the red one, because that one's cool. Poteen, how's it going? You say swing you by to say hi before going to eat? Nice! What you gonna eat, man? Uh, hi, you said, I've never played Yule Fest. Is there something I should know beforehand? Yes, hi. That it is literally the best festival, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> no, um, in the video, I'll kind of, like, run through like the basics what i really like about yuletide fest though is that it actually has like a pretty significant story that's like i guess like 
it, it, it like it has a story to it and i think that's what i like about it not only that but like the aesthetics I, in the video i explain it as like a like a brie town covered in snow okay what's not to like about it but one thing i like about yuletide is the story because there is like this little like I guess like village story quest like it's not an actual main quest in the game but like it's basically this thing between the rich versus the poor and it's just really it's really kind of like spicy okay it's spicy y'all it's spicy <laughs> yeah potes you just say dodge snowballs and prepare to act yes yeah yeah prepare to act yep that that does happen goldwyn how's it going said so looking forward to yo fest me too goldwyn I'm so excited for it, guys! I'm so oh, I'm so excited. It needs to come faster. It needs to be here right now. The cosmetics are cool too. Heck yeah, gadget. You're right. Yeah, I think that's one thing I like about Yuletide is that it doesn't feel impossible to get a lot of rewards. And not only that, but the Yule like the rewards are like pretty cool. Like some of them, like in other festivals, like I'll say I think Midsummer probably has the best cosmetic rewards, but like it's also like a pretty like high engagement you know like oh yeah like we're going to a wedding you gotta have that wedding look you know but yeah uh, melody you say you got a horse painted pail i've tried so hard to get that haunted burrow is my second favorite fest area nice yeah no for the horse i got it wasn't painted pale but that was i could have gotten that one but i didn't i just got i got the red one i can't find the red one <laughs> Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be sniffly now because my cat. Where was the other one that I just? Oh yeah, I got the red one. This is the one I got. I got two of these bad boys. I love the red one. The red and the green one are the best looking one. Oh, I just clicked off of it. Where to go? Where to go? There it is. Yeah, and then there's like the paint, like the painted pale one. But there's also a green one. The green one's cool uh it might be up a bit yeah green one this one's cool too yeah they're cool they're really hard to come by and they're expensive in the lotro store but they're really cool uh golden you said could it be better bang my head on the edge of a cupboard door no oh my gosh i'm so sorry that sucks man it always hurts how, uh, uh, like initially and you're just like then you feel like the embarrassment part of it where you're like why did i not just watch out for the door it was right in front of me you know it's well, always man. that like kind of feeling and vibe that you get with that sort of stuff <sighs> guys do i get my vip membership now because like you know i could use a little bit of space from these cosmetics you know I need some more vault space. It's just, uh, you know, you know, I guess I'll send my toolkit to someone. Um, I could go home and put my treasure chest away. Um, uh, um, 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 ooh, this is looking rough. And my, oh my God, my carry all's literally filled. Okay. That's fine. This is fine. This is literally fine. Uh, I want to sell both of those cave claws. Goldwyn, you said it did it this morning. It still feel a bit dizzy. Hopefully, it'll get better overnight. Yeah, hopefully, you're you're fine. That sounds intimidating and scary, man. You're like, what is going on? No, I'm totally full. Okay, well, I guess I'll take the shard out. And just bloop. Oh man, this sucks, guys. This really sucks. I guess I could craft. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Why don't I just craft? That'll save me <laughs> some space because I have a lot of things in my crafting carryall that are just like one-offs. Yeah, let's craft. I need to craft. Hi, you said uh, we need a mount slash pet competition. I know. I gotta organize it. Goldwyn, he said I'm a bit anxious right now, honestly. Oh, don't be anxious. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're totally fine, Goldwyn. I, I understand, though, why you feel anxious. I'd be like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay, right? It's just, it just happens, you know? Like, I got that way once. I hit my head on the refrigerator door so bad. Like, so badly one day. I was like, bro, I'm about to end up like, like Bob Saget, who just, like, hit his head on something mysterious and just 
falls asleep, it, it just doesn't wake up. Like, I, I kept thinking that the whole day. I was so anxious, and then literally, it was just like, it was nothing. Like, I just, that will not happen to you, Goldwyn. Like, the chances are so tiny. So, yeah, you're you're fine. You're fine, Goldwyn. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You got this. It's all it's all good, man. It's all good. Hi, you said remember that in less than three weeks we will have a kinship house. Oh gee, I can't wait. Oh yeah, man, that's gonna be awesome. Let's go. I'm ready to have it. I'm ready to have that kinship house. We're gonna party all day, drink from so many kegs. Uh Pr or Prado, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the weird community. Thank you or for the YouTube sub. Uh, a golden hugs. Yeah, hugs. You too, golden hugs. Hugs, hugs. Hugs, hugs, hugs. It's all good. It's all good, fam. You got this. You're, you're going to have a great sleep tonight. That's what's going to happen. You're going to have a great sleep. The anxiety will just wear off of you. It'll brush through, through you. You, like, you won't even remember this. Oh, man. I need battle plan. Oh, <laughs> I need leather. Give me leather bound stuff, man. Hey, Nazer. Uh, you say, what server am I playing on? I am playing on Crick Hollow. Uh, Melody, you say, I smacked my head on a lot of things when I was a small child. I feel that pain in every fiber of my body. <laughs> Dude, okay, so I have this funny well, story about my mother okay my granny always tells the story and it's hilarious but my uh my mother when she was a teen she i don't know what she was doing she's like bending over to pick something up or another and she smacked her head on the electrical box of our house of our old house and legit my mom smacked it so bad like my granny was scared that like my mom was paralyzed or something like it sounded so loud and it was so bad that my mom her head dented the electrical box like it was that bad <laughs> like the back of her head as she's coming up just <laughs> dented it and she was totally fine like she didn't even feel it she was just like oh like like she heard it but like She's just like, oh, like, you're freaking out for nothing, mom, you know? <laughs> and to this day, it was still dented. Like, literally, when we sold the house, it was still dented. It's hilarious. Like, what? So, my mom is that hard-headed, is what we all joke about, and I'm the same way. We're both hard-headed as heck. Uh, hi, you say you can, only, you can always ask on Royal Chat. Yes, you can always ask uh, Naysayer about any of that. Do, do, do. But yes, it's so it's just so funny. Um, all right, one more thing. I need one more thing. Sorry that this has turned into a craft a crafting stream real quick. Yeah. I can't speak today, guys. I'm sorry. I just I had a, a day full of meetings and I didn't even talk much in the meetings, but I was just like, yo, I don't want to be here. <laughs> no offense to the people I was in the meetings with, but like, you know how it is with meetings where you're just like, okay, I'm here. Hello. Um, how many more do I need? I need two. Gadget, you said scratch that creative itch, weird lady craft away. Gadget, I love that you call me weird lady. I feel like, I feel like I'm gold, like, um, I almost said, <laughs> I feel like I'm, um, Galadriel or something where I'm like, this like, what news do you bring, superior, Pamela? like weird lady. I don't know why Galadriel just, she's a lady to me. She's just a straight lady to me. Like, I don't know. like. <laughs> Like, if I didn't address her as ma'am or lady, like, she would be upset about me, okay? That's what I need, okay? So, like, every time you call me lady, I just feel like I'm, like, this superior Galadriel or something, a weird one. Like, 
Gadget is a weird one. Sounds too pedestrian. <laughs> okay. I never thought of it like that, I guess. Okay, that's interesting take. Interesting take, you know? <laughs> that's wild, man. Oh yeah, yo. What a fun time. Oh my gosh, I mean oh, I need to go out and get one more. Oh wait, I need tomes of war. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, I need one more. Oh my god. I did this wrong, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Help. Help. <gasps> we need to do de the, the deeds. We need a deed, guys. We need to do the deeds. Well met. I feel like we just did deeds, bro. We just did them. Literally just did them. Gadget said, so I'm going with Aubrey the weird lady. <laughs> Got you. That one works. Melody said, oh gosh, my head smackings always hurt me more than the object. Once cut the back of my head on the corner of a bookshelf. I'm okay, don't worry, but my biggest scar I have is the one that is not faded. Oh no. If it makes you feel any better, Melody, I actually had my head get cracked open once from a rocking chair i was like this like two-year-old kid i got smacked with a rocking chair <laughs> no bam and i still i have butterfly stitches but i still have a scar like on my forehead that's crazy so i get it i get it that took a while to type sorry oh no you're totally fine never apologize if it takes too long to type i get it lady aubrey L L Ladriel. <laughs> Ladriel. <laughs> Lady Aubrey Ladriel. Okay, that sounds way too much, y'all. I <laughs> just. Too much. Too much. Oh my gosh. I need another. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna lose it. I can't math today. I can't maths. I'm not paying attention to my crafty. I can't believe I need to buy another one. <laughs> I've been out here like four times. Oh my gosh. Yeah, man, I, I got some friend. crazy, like, head stories. I've, I've had a shovel thrown at me in my nose and on my head, and I was fine. Took that like a champ. Man, I went, like, fl I went flying down a hill when I was trying to learn how to bike once when I was four. And I had a helmet on, but the helmet, like, when I went flying, I smacked my head on the concrete, and the helmet, like, saved me. But it was like, a, like my helmet started coming out and then when I smacked it, it was like, boom! And like, I had the biggest mark <laughs> where my helmet, it had like a logo, so I had this logo indent on my head. <laughs> it was the craziest thing ever. I've got some crazy head stories, man, where I was... <laughs> I got, out of all things that could have happened to me, a rocking chair is what cracked my skull open. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need three more. Three more. <laughs> or two, one more, okay. Or two more, I don't know. <laughs> but literally, a rocking chair is what got me. But I had a whole shovel to the face. Nothing. Nothing. Not even a broken nose, okay? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. But man, that rocking chair, that's what did it. <laughs> It's so crazy. What news you bring, traveler? Man, I got stories for days. Alrighty. We will get through this crafting and I will figure out what I need. I swear. I'm trying to be as precise as possible. So then that way I get more free space in my inventory. Because last time I was not paying attention. And that's why we're in the predicament that we're in now. Oh my gosh, what are the chances of getting critical rating when you don't want it? Or critical crafting, a critical success, yeah, that thing. I don't even want it, bro. Wow, I'm actually getting low on this stuff. Ooh, book of knowledge, need more scrolls. Uh, Melody said the fact that there's not a supplier and there's a cra- I know! Everybody else's crafting areas are all together with, a, like, a crap ton of suppliers, but mine? No. Oh no, Aubrey. You're just out of luck, it seems, girl. Like, what? 
How dare. Do you guys think I'll have enough to make three? I guess I'll just make these all. Why not? I'll make them all and then I'll use my inspired note on getting the books of knowledge. I'll certainly need to craft three or get three scrolls. Yes, okay. All right, we should have enough now. I'm trying to map this in my head. Okay, real quick. I said I was going to use my inspired notes and I didn't, so I stopped it. <sighs> Melody, why must they make you walk? I know, right? How dare they? I'm upset with them. It's just cruel at this point. Nice. Got two. Nice. Okay, we're good there. Yeah, we should have enough for a large... Dang. Nice, nice. I got it. That was so nice. What are the chances of getting success like this? This is just good. I'll have one book of knowledge left. Okay. That should be enough, maybe. We should have enough to get us to medium. Yeah? Oh, I need scrolls? Oh, God. Three. I need two. I'm trying to map this out for next time. Cool. Okay, so we just have enough, and we will not have enough to make the scrolls. Wow, that's upsetting. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Getting this stuff out of our inventory, though, so it's all good. Mm. Sorry guys, I'm like so into this. I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure that my math is mathing and everything is set. <laughs> In the meantime, though, um, what other like collaborations or other like Lotro creators do you want me to collab with? Because I saw a lot of people that were like, oh yeah, the vibes are great. Like, oh the video was fun. But um I did see someone that was like, oh yeah, I'm down for more collabs. And I was like, oh yeah, more collabs. I was like, I haven't really planned anything. I do have one collab planned well i spoke with someone about it but um it'd be like another podcast i think um but it's for one of my friends that i know like personally like irl um so like uh, his industry is totally different from mine so it would be an interesting one but not really lotro related i guess so i'm not sure if there's any other creators y'all are like Aubrey, you must collab with this person. Cause I need I need ideas for an upcoming video idea I've got planned too. And no, I won't spoil the video idea yet. <laughs> but uh, it'll get. I need to invite like everybody to it. Do. And I also need to record more Lotro videos. I when I recorded the Yuletide Fest video, I hadn't recorded a video in I think about. I think it's been about a month since I last recorded a video because I had so many videos to get through to edit. So when I filmed the Yuletide Fest one, bro, I was tripping over my words. I was like, what am I doing? I'm not used to this. How do people do this every day? How do you talk in front of a camera again? I don't know. It's intimidating, man. Do, do, do. All right, let's get all of this. All the stuffs, all the stuffs. Do. I will say I do always like the chill soundtrack when you you get when you craft. It's just awesome. Um, let's I'll make these all. Why not? Mm. 
Yes. Wish I had beeswax. That would definitely help right now. Do do. All right, guys. Make sure you got your snacks and your diet coke ready. Cause we're gonna go to Gondor and we're gonna burn some Corsair tents. I actually didn't realize how much of early level Gondor had um just so much to do about Corsairs and Umbar, like, I guess, like, starter, like, story in Umbar and stuff. I didn't realize how much there was to it. Hey, Mar uh, hey Marina, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, don't mind us, we're currently just crafting right now. <laughs> but I swear, we will get out and explore Gondor. We will. We will. Wait, don't make that. Don't make that. I don't know what I'm doing. I might just toss this last remaining dwarf carving. It's probably not what I should do, but I might just do it for the sake of space. Look at how much we got cleared from our crafting carry-all. We did so good. We did so good, guys. Oh. I guess I'll put this back. Oh, oh. Oh, and I guess I could do this. Heck yeah! Look at us go! We're getting all the crafting done! I'm so impressed. Uh, Marina, you said good! Got my first job! Nice! Nice! What's the job roll? That's always so exciting when you get your first job. And you're like, oh my gosh! I'm gonna be rolling a dough! And then, like, you get your first paycheck, and you're like, Oh my gosh, this is so much money! And then it's like, you gotta start paying bills, and you're like... This isn't nothing. <laughs> That's always how- I will never forget my first paycheck was worth $81. And I was like, Guys, I'm balling out here! I got $81! And then when I actually got paid for... My- like actual two weeks straight of working it was like four hundred dollars and i was like oh my god i'm rich like i was i was through the roof about it i was like i'm so rich guy <laughs> now i get a paycheck worth 400 i'm like oh i am so broke <laughs> i miss those days <laughs> Draga, you said, let's empty our fridge on the floor and clean it up for fest practice. Heck yeah, we need that reeking garbage, all the, uh, the, the crappy spills in the, in the, in the, in the dirty dishes. We need all of it. I'm ready. I'm so ready to clean up some, some garbage. Guys, I, you guys have no idea. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Marina, you said marketing? Nice! Oh my gosh, this is like a, like a... Um, this sounds a lot more exciting than my first job, where it was just a movie theater, and I just was a concessions worker, so it sounds like you got, like, a cool first job. Like, I, I got my marketing job, and I was like, okay, this is, like, my first big girl job. Like, oh my gosh, you know, it's cool. That's so awesome. Congrats. Marketing is, uh, a lot of fun. Or at least, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, definitely more fun than other uh, careers I've tried to venture into, like, for example, accounting. <laughs> accounting was not my forte. But if you could get into it, it is a a nice one in terms of money-wise, but it just seems so tedious. Marketing can kind of be tedious too, though, so I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, oh yeah, marketing can be tedious. I'm just going to keep processing this until we get our XP up a little bit more and we're on an even number. Koma, how's it going? What's up? Not much. We are crafting right now, but we will be exploring Gondor soon. I'm literally doing my last thing here for the crafting stuff, but I needed to get more space. A uh, fairy tales, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the weird community. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, Marina, you say you love numbers? That's good. That's good. Do you like, like, analyzing numbers, or do you like, like, subtracting and, like, 
dividing and like percentage wise like trying to like i guess calculate numbers do you like analyzing numbers or do you like calculating numbers i like analyzing numbers so personally i think the best job i could have is as a social media strategist because i love to take the numbers and look over the analytics like y'all i'd be checking the youtube analytics like every day because i'm just obsessed and i want to see like how the numbers are like working i'm like wait why are they going down here why are they going up here and then i can like plan ideas around it i really like that hi you say i think every extra backspace should be like 100 gold or something so that would be good for free-to-play players. That is a great suggestion. That's a great suggestion, man, because I think that that would make it a little more feasible, but it's also pretty expensive for free-to-play players. So, like, I think that's a really good suggestion, hi. Marina, you say calculate? Ooh, okay. I'm curious. I'm curious, then. Why did, why'd you get into marketing, then? So marketing... Well, some of marketing can be calculating it, so... I, I don't know, because I'm just like, well, if you love, if you like numbers and calculating, I don't know if you've ever considered accounting. Maybe. Financial advising? It's another good one, too. That was something I looked at, too, was financial advising. But it's a lot of numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Calculations. Plugging them in. But there are, I think there are some things of marketing that are kind of like calculating numbers and stuff, but I just can't think of it off the top of my head. It seems to be more like product or like business to business marketing stuff, which I'm not familiar with. I'm just so curious. I love hearing about marketing stuff because it's, it's, it's just cool. Mister, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the weird community. I hope you're having a good old day. Uh, we got 16 more notes to process. Uh, Marina, you say marketing is the other thing that I like. I got you. All right, cool. I got you. I'm on the same boat. Well, I guess I don't calculate numbers. I don't like calculating numbers as much, but that's also because I did just take a math class and I had to calculate a lot of numbers and I didn't like it. And I still have one more to do for my degree, but... <laughs> It's fine, guys. It's fine. Math reasonings next semester is gonna be a blast, y'all. It's gonna be so much fun. Mister, thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. You are now a weirder weirdo. You can tell all your friends you're a weirder weirdo now because you prime subbed. <laughs> thank you. I, I appreciate it, mister. I hope you're doing well. Um, okay, well, I, I was hoping that this would craft faster, but I feel like it's not. We go on slow. We go on real slow. Hmm. I have so much to go through. Gadget! Melody, you say, wow, lots of people sub in a day. I know, right, Melody? It's so nice. Everyone in the community, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you. You. You right there. Oh my god, we have a hype train going now. What the heck? You guys are too you guys are too nice. Goldwyn! Goldwyn, thank you for the sub! Holy crap! Thank you! <laughs> guys, we don't have to do this hype train, okay? I appreciate you all. <laughs> you don't have to. Artis, how's it going? <laughs> oh yeah, Artis, before you even ask, okay? One and only, one and only for today. Just one and only Diet Coke. I have not had a Diet Coke in three days. I'm so impressed. I'm so happy. Oh, Melody, you have a good one. Minecraft session with your friend. Yeah, go hang out with your friend. Enjoy your Minecraft. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you for being here, Melody. I appreciate it. All right, Gadget, I'm going to redeem your weird hydrate now. Okay, that one was a little rough because the mic's right in front of me. I gotta figure out how to weird hydrate now because the mic is like right here. So I don't want to bang it while I'm weird hydrating, but I also want to like drink water, you know? Gadget said, like, can you craft a letter to Santa? It's that time of year, you know? <laughs> no, <laughs> no letters to Santa. Oh my goodness. The cheers! Gadget, thank you for the hundred bitties! Thank you! There's a hype train. 
I can't believe y'all are doing this with the hype trades, y'all. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Man, we're 68% through level one. Whoa. Uh, Marina, you said, I loved algebra when I understood it. Me too. I loved algebra too. And you say Minecraft is cool? Heck yeah. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't played Minecraft in so long though. Baldwin, he said, been a prime sub for nine months and thought I should upgrade. Dude, I know, I saw that it said converted from a prime sub to a tier one. I was like, oh my gosh, like, thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, you said the 3k weird points for no mounts is tempting me. <laughs> no, okay. First of all, if you're gonna redeem it, I'll even help you out here. If you're gonna redeem it, do it when we're actually exploring. <laughs> I'm sure you already were gonna do that, but I'm just saying, you know, um, yeah. Artist, you said, I have, I've had one mountain due today. I am so ashamed. Artist, it's fine, bro. You had one mountain due. It's fine. It's fine, Artist. It's fine. You're fine. You're fine, Artist. Marina, you said terrible at geography. Dude, I was kick butt with geography, but I learned like all of the countries. So like for one of my exams in history class, you had to learn all of the countries. It wasn't even totally all of the countries, but it was over, I think it was like a hundred and like 20 countries that we had to memorize. It, it was it like 120, it, it was something like that. It was like 100, it was like a little bit over a hundred. Not only did you have to memorize them, but you had to put them all in order. You had to literally put everything in order, like from alphabetical order. So all the countries that start with A and the B and C and so on, you know? Dude, I freaking ace that exam. I ace that exam. Memorization, I'm like, let's go. I love memorization. I'm like, challenge me, bro. I will win. Like, I, I think of it like a competition. It's so funny. <laughs> Marina, you say, yeah, I'm directionally challenged. Oh, man. <laughs> That sucks, man. Dude, I'm so good with m remembering my surroundings and knowing, like, directions-wise where maybe I'm at, but... Ooh, man. The rest of it? I don't know. Um, Gadget said, I wanted to try and push the trade over the top. Yeah, Gadget, let's go! We're almost there. We're almost there, y'all. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hi, you said, I'll wait for, like, 12-hour stream so the effects are worse. Oh, my gosh. Hi, that is... You want to really, like, take me out. You really want to make me cry, don't you? <laughs> I would be in tears if that happened. Uh, Ma, you say, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? You said you played since 2011 in Lotro, and I'm playing to, um... Oh, you're, you're going back to it, and you just took a long pause. You play from time to time at the moment, uh, and you're trying to find new people to play. Ooh, you're trying on an English server. What server am I on? I'm on Crick Hollow. Uh, Hampage, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. How's it going today? Hello, hello, hello. Yep, I am on Crick Hollow, my. Uh, I do recommend Crick Hollow because it's smaller, and I do really like smaller servers, but it's honestly starting to get more popularity, so I don't know if it's small, small. But hi, welcome in, Raiders. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. All right, let me get you your shout out. Ham, I'm gonna get you your, your shout out. How was your stream? I'm assuming you're playing Lotro. Yep, of course. How was the stream, Ham? Um, do, do, do. Uh, Coco, how are you doing today? Hello, hello. Uh, do, do, do. two days till Yuletide. Yes, DMD. I'm so freaking pumped. Thursday cannot come sooner enough. I need it now. I need Yuletide now, y'all. Y'all have no idea. I'm, uh, oh, favorite time of the year. Um, might you say I never played on Kirk Hollow, I think. Yeah, Kirk Hollow is good. Um, Arkenstone is, like, the most popular server right now, so I don't know if you're looking for raid content later, but that's a good one. Uh, Ham, you said, how's the stream? It's going well. We got a hype train, you know, we, we have a hype train low-key kind of going. No, the trade was missed. <laughs> no, it's awesome. I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you. Um, 
Uh, do do I was thinking also Gladden. Gladden is okay. It's a good average one. It's okay. It's a, it's an average one, you know. You know. I keep going past the vault. I'm so sorry. Um, G Gladwin, uh, Gladwin, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Gladwin is, um, I used to, that was my main server for about 11 years or so, um, but I actually just stopped because I felt a lot of people that were on it for me left, so I kind of just stopped. Artist, you said I may or may not have created a burglar on Krakalo. I see you, artist. What news do you bring, Travis? Ham, you said we had a blast getting set for Yule. Yes, Ham, are you gonna be playing Yule like all the time? Like I'm literally gonna be playing Yule Fest for like four days in a row at least. <laughs> Probably more than that, but at least four days. At least, at least. Um, all right, guys. I think I might put some of my essences in the bank. Cause um. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could put... My, you know what? I should sell my dice. That would help, too. What even is this? Ooh, let's let's get a flock of birds together. My, thank you so much for a follow. Welcome to the weird community. I hope you're having a good day. Um... Eh. Okay. Something. We got a little less stuff on our plate. And uh, did you do Coco? You said, yeah, I'm like Golem, always lurking in a corner with the glowy eyes. I love it, Coco. That's awesome. And I said, I took myself the... Oh, you, you tried the new expansion? It's nice, nice. Yeah, Art, uh, yeah, artist. Arkenstone can be lag central at times. Yes, for certain. Egarther, how are you doing today? You said, Gladden is also a nice, small, mostly friendly server. Frankly, some of the most famous people on Crick are full of themselves. Wait, what? What you trying to say, Igor? <laughs> okay, who we are, who, who are you considering famous people at Crick? Cause I'm like, wait. <laughs> I was like, like questing dad, I always run into on Crick and I was like, he kind of cool, you know? <laughs> Maya said I only played, um, Ser Serenon and Gladden and Arkenstone. Okay. Uh, you guys, I could join you all in Crick Hollow. What you think? I mean, Crick Hollow, you know, I'm down for it, you know? Ham, you said only four? Question mark? Only for what? Oh, my inventory crafting slot. Um, Mai said, you're, you're follow from Canada. Nice, thank you. Can Canada, I love it. I'm literally, like, 45 minutes away from the Canadian border, so... <laughs> Gadget, you said I have a low-level ult on most servers, but my only 140 plus characters on Landy and Brandy. <laughs> I love that you can rhyme it, Landy and Brandy. Marina, you say I have to go, but I'll see you guys later. Have fun with the stream and stay safe. Thank you, you as well, Marina. Thank you for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, hi, you said I'm going to complete all festival quests with all four of my tunes. Do it. I'm gonna do the same with you. Do it. I dare you. All right, I'm gonna drink a coffee fee. I'm gonna replace these. I can sell these. Okay, I think I've got a good amount of stuff I could sell or just put away for the time being. Or mail. Let's mail some things, actually. Hmm. I'm trying to remember who my oh I'm trying to remember who my cook is. I can't remember. Uh oh crap. I forgot this one. Whoops. All right, um, my inventory is a mess. I don't even want to look at it. I just want to forget about it. All right, where are we going? Let's go. Let's go uh, down and to uh, burn the tents. Uh, Maya said I didn't start yet the expansion. Oh, okay. You just got. Oh, you just got it five minutes ago. Looking what server? Okay, I got you. Okay, yeah. The expansion's kind of cool though. I like the city of Unbar a lot, but much else after that it sounds like it's a little hit or miss 
man okay i'm trying to make this make sense but it, it's just not it's not making sense y'all it's just not making sense like what even why do i even have this like just sell it it's 42 silver oh my gosh heyday Pam, hey, you said only four days of Yule? That seems like way too little. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more than four days. Um, it's gonna be until January... 8th? 10th? January... something or another? January something. It, it'll be a month, probably. I think it's a little less than a month. Um, Maya said, I'm a main captain, but I'm gonna try the new class first. Mariner? Ooh, yeah, captain and mariner are very different, but, uh, I do really like mariner. It's- it's fun. It's fun for sure. But it, just know it'll be very different from captain. So if you remember any, like, captain main, my it's gonna be- it's gonna be different. It's gonna be really different. Just- just be- just be, uh, be on alert, I guess. <laughs> Where's the tent go? Oh, it's right in front of me. Uh, you Arthur said you'll last from December 7th at 10 a.m. Eastern to January 3rd at 3 a.m. Eastern. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, okay? If I, I was, like, kind of thinking about it, I was like, what if I just, like, took December 7th off work so I could play when it goes live in the morning? <laughs> But I didn't. I didn't. We're gonna have to wait till after work. It's fine though. But I really wanted to. Gadget January 3rd, I think. Yeah. Uh, Maya said it's always different. No worries. I can handle it. Yeah, you got this. You got this for sure, Maya. I know you got it. I just wanted to warn you because, like, it's very different. Like, Mariner is, um, it's kind of like a mix of a lot of support based classes, is how I think of it. Like, certainly different. Uh, Yigarthi said Endgame, Red Cappy, and Mariner have some similarities because they are both considered support classes. Oh, that's true. That's true too. I never, um, I never think about Endgame stuff too, too much because I, I haven't experienced Endgame stuff. Um, but that is a good point. I guess Captain could be considered a support to some extent. I never thought of it like that. Oh, I need Captains. Oops. I just passed like two Captains back there. Let me go back. All right, I need your captains. Give me your captains. They're going down. Oh. I need to concentrate. I'm rusty. I feel like I'm always rusty. There we go. And do, do, do. gadget, you said yeah. Last year it was the seventh to the third. Wow. Uh, hi, you said. Hey, is there a way to get a boar mount in the game? The only way that I'm aware is um, from purchasing that. I think it was the Gundabad expansion. Yeah, maybe. Gundabad expansion. The one that you have to buy on Lotro.com. I know that there's a boar available that way. I don't know if there's any other available boar mounts. Yigarthi said they're both DPS melee slash support at endgame. Yep, true. You're going full DPS then? Do it. <laughs> Cap can go full DPS or heal or tank too. Yeah, caps are nice for that. Uh, gadget. Oh, captain by captain. Man, everybody's been talking about captains lately, and I'm like, man, I kind of want to make a captain now. Like, you know, just a little bit now. I feel like I'm left out. Garthy said they're not taken on raids for their personal DPS, but more for the buffs they give to the whole raid. Elder Slade and Gunabad both had four mounts. Okay, Elder Slade as well. Wow. Okay, four mounts are everywhere. <laughs> War of Three Peaks 2? Oh, you mean War of Three Peaks. Okay. So War of Three Peaks and um, Gundabad both had boar mounts for their expansion purchases, yeah. That were through the Lotro.com website. <laughs> My, let's make a captain team. All right, bet. 
Gadget said, I got my boar from the Three Peaks expansion. Wow, okay, so I need the Three Peaks expansion or Gundabad. I got you, I got you. I do really want a boar, Mal. I would love one, but it's not, it's not happening just quite yet. Oh my god. Get in my line of sight, bro! Wow. Man, we're going crazy with the lightning. I don't know what that ladder goes to. A door? Wait, what's in the door? Trap the beach? What? I have to trap the beach? Oh, the door. <laughs> The door leads me back down, doi. <laughs> the Gundabad boar mount farts thunder? Wait, what? <laughs> There's no way! Wait, Egarther, you're you're playing with me. That, that's all you had to say. I'm gonna go buy the Gundabad expansion right now. <laughs> I need it this very second. <laughs> Dude, that's sick! That's just how you know that boar is really cool. He's just farting up a storm, literally. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got knocked. It's fine. He got these and I'm totally serious. I've had complaints from people about the noise. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh, he's literally farting up a storm. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Man, I've been missing out on the weird stuff in Lotro. The cool weird stuff, man. We need it. I'm gonna buy the expansion right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ugh. Alright. Uh, here's another slaver. Oh, okay. I'll drop down because you were getting confused, bro. You didn't know where my tent was. It's fine. Ooh. Oh yeah, I, I should put on my little tracker for my artifacts, yeah? Leaving them all. Coco, you said you guys are aware of the, of the store rebates code about the uh, the one where you can get you can choose either to have the thirty percent off one item, fifteen percent off two items, or ten percent off three items. Are you talking about that? Mm, I did this wrong. So I've been watching a lot more sweaty streamers in Lotro that are like very particular about how they set up things and like their combinations and stuff. And I'm not a sweaty Lotro player, I've learned. I'm 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 totally far from it. But I think people expect me to be a little key like sweat at it if if I'm like helping out people learning the game. But I, I've realized I'm far from sweaty, so I'm just telling you guys right now. Don't ever expect me to be a sweaty player, because it ain't happening. This is too much to do. I guess you know that, yeah. I was just making sure we were both talking about the same thing. Yes, everyone, uh, definitely get your discount codes. I might do a 30% off one item, but I have no idea which item to do it for, because I only have, like, a couple Lotro points. Uh, let me check my Lotro points real quick, actually. I didn't think about it. Should get out of here, honestly, because he might respawn by the time I get back. I need more slavers. I need two more, and I need to trap the beach one more time. Hmm. Okay, let me check my Lotro points. Hi, you said I hate that they only work until December 7th. I know. Especially when they just had their little, like, sale that went on, and I just spent all of my money towards that sale. But yeah, I have 338 Lotro points. So I've been thinking about it. I'm like, what could I maths to, like, get me something decent that I might want? Like, I'm not going to lie. I might just buy a cosmetic for 30% off and call it a day. 
but I'm also like, I don't know. That just seems sad. Like, I, I, I don't want to turn into that person that's buying cosmetics from the Lotra store. Because I know I don't have space for them. So I'm like, why would I buy them? But at the same time, a discount code, you know? <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I just got issues, okay? I just, I just... I got issues. Okay, I just I just want to buy everything, but I I also need space. I need more space. Let me look and see if I could if there are like any if there's any space. Ooh, I could buy a town services. Very very inexpensive, but Ooh, I could put Ooh, if I had a stable master in my yard, that would be sick, but I don't think 30% off will cover it. Definitely won't. Um, <laughs> vault storage. Ooh, way too expensive. No, no, no. That, that ain't happening. Ooh, yeah. Uh, this is going to be tough for me. I don't think there's really anything I can afford. Oh, I guess I could buy the further adventures of Elodin and Aurora here. But, eh. 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 Maybe. Maybe Mithril. <gasps> Wait, I could do a 30% off Mithril. Yeah, I might do that. When in doubt, just always buy Mithril, guys. Just when in doubt, always buy Mithril. Okay, sorry. I got way too uh crazy. About that. I got I, I went down the rabbit hole and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna buy? I need to know right now. I'm probably just gonna buy Mithril. I'm not gonna do it this second, but remind me at the end of the stream tonight, y'all, <laughs> please. <laughs> I might forget. I'm gonna have to write a note to myself. Uh, Igarthi said, there are some gotchas with those choose your code discounts. They can overwrite other discounts and you need to apply them on the same character, which redeems them. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh... Galdon, you say you could do an entire stack of 10 items, which is great. Wow, that's crazy. Mm, hi, you said you could get you could get to 407 for an extra character slot. I I have too many character slots as it is, though. That's my problem. I have 22 character slot, 23 now, maybe. Tw it's either 22 or 23, but I have way too many. Mm, Coco, you said, I say only buy account-wide online. I know, but they're all too expensive. That's the problem. <sighs> Soviet, guess what? What's up? How are you today? I got you to say, I have a list when it comes to spending Lotro coins. Mithril is at highest, but it's really near the top, right? Dude, I feel so much better. Like, I, I, it's a security blanket, knowing I have 23 Mithril instead of, like, two. When I had two, I wanted, I, I just wanted to cry. I was like, what's the point? What's the point of having two? I'm gonna misclick both times and, you know, use a mithril to, you know, get a mount instead of um, using my actual coin that I could afford to, like, swift travel to, but... Like, having two mithril, it, it was just too, it was too stressful. Any one little misclick and you're done. You're just done. You're, they're gone. Uh, Coco, you said, what? Never too many character slots. Listen. There are too many character slots, though. There are, though. There is. There is. Okay, there is. There is such a thing I'm learning. Because now when I'm like, oh yeah, it took me three years to get to, uh, you know, you know, it took me three years to get to level 100 on this character. So I'm like, clearly I had way too many other distractions, aka ults, that were taking up my time. Mm, Galdwin, you said, not sure if anyone's interested, but Lord of the Rings Golem is now 60% off on Steam. Okay, now I kind of want to play it if it's... Uh, if it's on sale. So we you said treat yourself, treat myself to a diet coke. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. 
Uh, Gadget, you said, I like having lots of character slots, but it feels like throw one in every expansion, so I don't buy that. Yeah, pretty much. That is how it feels lately. So, yeah, did you try doing something special and my alerts messed up? Is that what happened? I'm sorry if that's the case. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm just running. I'm saving your life, Archer, because I could whoop your little tush to the lightning bolts and back. Okay, that sounded better in my head, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the cringiness just, um, goes crazy, goes crazy. All right, so we can finally turn in this quest. Getting our rep. Oh yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to get more rep. Oh, that's what we gotta do. Oh, you meant buy stuff, treat myself. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. You're telling me to to treat myself with the discount. I get you. Okay. I I was just like, cause I was like, wait, what's the guess what though? I'm I'm like I'm missing something here. I need the guess what. I need guess what what. <laughs> You leave you you're leaving me you're leaving me hanging, man. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so apparently, from what I've heard from you guys, is that Gondor does have some sort of like rep quest, kind of like um, kind of like Rohan with Hypebold. That's what it sounds like. I don't know if this is where exactly where it's at, but I did kind of get the gist that maybe it is. Where's my book quest want to take me? It wants to take me somewhere in Blackroot Vale. Okay, maybe we should focus on that. So we said, if I had money, I'd be buying you coffee. <laughs> um, no worries, no worries, man. I'm not trying to apply that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, though. Coffee's always nice, man. How may I help you, friend? All right, let's get this token. Needs your aid. Give me These your library, ma'am. I don't know why These she's giving me a library token. Indeed. Can I spend it? Use this item to immediately gain rep in the faction. Okay. Okay, we got we got something. We got something. Um What is this? I Idmo? What does that mean? Is that friendly or what? Uh I'm gonna assume it's one of the top ones, yeah? Probably the... Oh, here he is. Dol Amrith Library. I'm neutral. Why do we need the library, though? Who cares about what the library wants, right? Okay, also, I get made fun of the... By the way, I say library, okay? Because I say library and not library. And people get on me about it. And I'm sorry, I just- I say library wrong, okay? I say it like it's a berry, okay? Not a library. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just- It's- it's the Ohio way to me or something. I don't know. <laughs> Garther, you said that, um... Dalt Amaranth has a bunch of City Watch sub-factions with dailies. The tokens for each sub-faction can be bartered for gear and essence. It's cool. A library is the intro sub-faction. It teaches you how to max rep with the sub -faction. Okay, I got you. All right, so this is just like intro stuff. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm down for that. We can do a little bit. A little bit of it. Now there's sub-factions. That's crazy. There's gonna be so much rep that we'll need. How may I help you, friend? Ooh, okay. I see. What'd we get? Ooh, legendary item stuff. A docs token? Oh, heck yeah, bro. I should check if I need to reforge by chance or not. Mm. Oh. Dox is another sub-faction? Yeah, I figured. Why are there so many quests on my screen? There's so many! Oh my gosh, look at them all. Look at them all! Oh my 
my goodness. How may I help you, friend? Drakes? I'm not defeating no Drakes, girl. These are troublesome times indeed. Oh, you're currently underway. I have completed zero of six in this category today. So it's a daily. It's a daily, daily. Oh, yeah, you said with dailies. Yeah. Gadget you said buying the weird lady coffee is actually for buying Christmas presents. She's a tricksy weirdo, lol. Yeah, pretty much. Gadget you said you could bury the boots wherever you like. What? What boots? Uh, Garthy, you said, and there's a. There's war. There's war. Oh, warhouse. That's at a warehouse. Oh, oh, okay. I see what you mean. Okay. Uh, Mason, Swan Knight, CCC, warehouse. Okay, warehouse. It, it's warehouse. Cool. Okay, okay. I got you. Um. These are troublesome times indeed. There's no way I don't know fishing by now, yeah? Okay, well, we're not doing the docks because, ugh, fishing is gross. Indeed. Um, so the real question is, are these worth doing? Uh, one of the sub-factions has you do quests in the crown? <gasps> no, that place is way too dangerous. That's a fellowship area I want to try, so, yeah. Holy crap, yeah, that sounds intense. How may I help you, friend? I don't know where these places are, so I don't know if they're good, bad, or what. But they're solo, they say anyway, so it might be okay. Okay, well, we're not doing the warehouse one. What about the armory? How may I help you, friend? We could do the armory. Or we could just do the library one again. That one was fairly easy, but I don't want to do the same thing twice. Yeah. Which one's this one? Swan Knights. Let's see what they've got. Gondor. Needs your aid. Ooh, Oathbreakers? Oh, okay, okay, okay. How may I help you, friend? Huh, you can only do six? That seems kind of cruel. It's like I'd do two of each, maybe, but I. Uh, such a pain. Ugh. Oh, I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if we do this. Swan Knight dailies are in Path of the Dead. Course. Gadget said if you had a bear, you'd be a two you'd be a two being fellowship, true though. Alright, well um let's try one that's not Path of the Dead would be fun, but we'd have to go away a ways. A ways away. I mean we do have to go up that way anyway. Cause I do need to get to Black Root for the Yeah, screw it. Cause we're gonna be right there, might as well. Gondor. Needs your aid. We've got nothing to lose here. How may I help you, friend? I mean, besides our character's life, but it's okay. She'll live. How may I Start help the you, training friend? exercises. Join us on a patrol. Once accepted, it cannot be cancelled. You must complete this to finish. Ooh. Alright, I'll do it. We'll do the training real quick. Oh, man. Now I feel so overwhelmed. Gondor is so overwhelming. Okay, but I, we can get through this. You guys are gonna help me out. I appreciate it. Um, all right, here we are. We're exercising. Let's stretch. Let's do it. Oh, these are deeds too. Oh snap. Okay. Um, speak to the soldiers and select your target building. Gondor needs your aid. You need to earn more rep with the armory. Okay. How may I help you, friend? Join me in retaking the library. To the library! Yeah, the library is my target. Let's go. Indeed. I don't even know what this is doing. <laughs> Whoops. Opens up the instance dailies for each sub faction. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Yeah, and you know what the reward is for deed of maxing every faction zip not a zilch zero oh screw that screw the dailies we're not doing this no more <laughs> all right uh i need to get to the entrance and i'm tripping i think the entrance is over here or it's the other way i can't remember so we're going to attack the library oh the entrance might have been the other way oh here it is I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. 
I'm just gonna chill over here. Man, it's so ominous. No one's here. Crazy. All right, where's the library at? Oh, here it is. I'm just gonna run past these guys. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh my god! Get away from me! I didn't mean to aggro all of you! Oh my gosh, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try this, guys. Remember, we're a rune keeper acting like a guardian. Oh my gosh, we're dead. We're so dead. Just run! 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't mean to aggro all like. 12 of them all right they're on my runestone it's fine it's fine it's fine let's heal up i'm gonna hope they're gonna break off but a part of me believes that they're not gonna break off <laughs> oh god oh my god there's so many vandals oh my gosh get off me bros Okay, go, go, <laughs> run! <laughs> They're not gonna reset, I figured. I figured we were screwed. <laughs> All right, at least get the light ones out of here. Oh my God, there's no way I like totally missed that. We can make this work, guys. We can make this work. We might not be in the best circumstance. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, no. We're not stunning me now. <laughs> Get off me. Oh my gosh. One of them's not stunned. One of them's not stunned. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. <laughs> It's not your fault, Ecarther. It's me. I ran through and I was like, oh, I'll be fine, right? They're not gonna aggro on me. <laughs> All right, I got to use the potion. All right, let me get this guy. I get this guy, I might have a better chance. All right. All right, now it's all the toughies. Tough guys. All right. We're getting there. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, we're making progress. We're making progress! <gasps> we did it! We did it, guys! We did it! Oh my gosh. Uh, oh wow, I could take on anything now. Forget it, I'm gonna aggro everyone. <laughs> Let's go! GG, man. Oh man, that was exhilarating. All right, um, library. Let's get it. Oh, there's a book. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I'll watch us heal up and wait a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take every opportunity to wait and heal, I guess. Oh gosh, I'm gonna aggro another. It's fine. I aggroed him. Whoops, I stunned him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Stop getting on me. Bro, why are they getting aggroed on me? Why? 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 I was doing so well. Why? Just why? How the hell did this many people get on me? Can someone make sense of this for me? Okay, I, I was just chilling with like two or three ruffians, you know? Nothing big, nothing major, nothing crazy. And all of a sudden, there's just like freaking 17 of these boys on me. <laughs> I'm so dead. I'm dead, y'all. I'm dead. It's just, it's Jover. It's Jover. I'm just gonna keep running. I don't know how my power is. <laughs> I'm 
risking it. Oh, let's go. Okay, it was kind of not worth it, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, God, not the archers, not the archers. Jesus. Oh my goodness, uh, bro. How did I get like 20 of them on me? Jeez, man, this is terrible. All right, now I gotta be actually like on my toes. Um. Ooh. All right, we got this, we got this. We got this, y'all, we got this. We gotta stay alert. Try to get as, as, as not that crazy amount of people on us and then we're fine. <laughs> we'll be fine then. Here, let me bring out a cosmetic pet for good luck. Yeah, we're gonna bring out flower cause you know, flower is awesome. And without flower, we will just die. We'll perish. We need some hope, you know? I guess I could use, you know, some things. Potentially. Um... We'll do this. Do, do, do. Golden East said, heading off for bed. Hope you have a good night and stay safe. I'm gonna try, okay? I'm gonna try. I just want that stupid book. That's all I want. If I could just get the stupid book, I'd be okay. I'm just gonna stand still. Let this happen. Keep on, just keeping on. Fountain defended. Oh, it triggered that. Oh, I see. I see. I need to recover books and. Oh, boy. Man, I just heard an archer and it literally scared me. I was like, I am going to die. All right, let's take out these guys. Eh. <laughs> no, you're not gonna run. Not running away. So can I actually go into the library? That's the real question. Why oh, there's so many Corsairs, bro? Ooh, okay, we can. Let's see. Alright, bring it on, guys. Y'all are nothing. I just dealt with, like, seven of, seven of you, like, five seconds ago. We don't talk about the seven that took me out, though. That doesn't count. We're only talking about the ones I took out. Ugh, my game's so laggy today. Mm, I did update my driver, so I'm kind of like, maybe that's part of it. Like, just before stream. Great, the captain's coming this way. Fantastic. Oh, wow. What? Wow, he really finessed me. He was about to come through, and then he said no, and then he said, wait, I forgot something. Wait, no, I didn't. I ran. Alright. I'm just gonna keep spamming my heels, y'all. There's a gate? Ooh, unlock doors. Okay. So can captains call people to them? Like, I'm starting to wonder. Right, 
Let me heal. Unlock this gate real quick. I need looters, slavers, books, and I need to defeat someone in particular. Um, oh, here's someone. Oh, another slaver. Oh, and a book. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> oh, crap. JJ said yes, it can summon fellowship members. Nah. We don't talk about Bruno. What about Bruno? Yeah, I'm under the impression that captains are uh, sussy. They got specialty powers. Gosh, stop hitting me with these little slowdowns and damage reducers. Okay. Ooh. Look over here. Oh boy! Captain's looking crazy. Drop my rock? Yeah, I should use my rock a little more. Oh my flipping god. Why are there captains all over the dang place? Ah! Uh, I don't want to go downstairs. I feel like if you were a leader, you would be upstairs, yeah? If I needed to take you out, you would be upstairs hiding. You'd, you'd have the high ground, correct? Bring it on, sirs. I want to know, like, what animation they do to summon potential other people. Or, like, if it's, like, a quick, like, they just yell and then, like, boom, everybody's coming. Or if they have to do, like, an induction. Ooh, there's a book. Oh my god, there's nothing but archers here. Are you kidding me? That's fine. It's fine. Oh, there's another book, too. Nice. Owie! God, whatever they put on me was crazy. Drop the rock and step away. I guess so. You guys have all the strats. They blow a horn. Okay, they blow a horn. Thank you, Ginger. Uh, Igarthi said someone I worked with had a funny story about playing a harmonica while driving. Drop the harmonica. Oh, oh, cop saw he was pointing a gun. <laughs> Drop the harmonica! Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Couldn't charge him with anything, dude. They probably- Yep, I knew that the leader guy was here. He probably got scared crapless, though. And, like, they probably scared him. Like, like, they probably scared him, and then he probably scared them with the harmonica, of all things. That's hilarious. Oh. All right, I need to find more looters. Snipers? It's crazy. Um, another captain. I need more but Wait, I thought I just recovered two books. Oh, well, they must not have been good. Maybe they were past recovery. Did I miss that? Let me read. Mmm. Selling umbar food. Man, people out here in Lotro trying to make a living. Mm, I don't know. Couldn't read anything. Okay. Either way, let's find another book and then I'll actually read it this time. I'll read what's happening with it. Who are you? Another captain, bro! Ooh, a book. Okay, but the captains are coming. The captains are coming. It's fine. Okay, book. We'll try it. Oh, we recovered books. Okay, I was just- Oh, I was looking at the unlocked door quest. Okay, my bad. My bad. I can read. I can read. I swear. Alright. Ooh, a door. Perfect. Unlocking the door. Alright, I need more slavers and looters. Seemed like looters were outside, mostly. Um, Slavers I've kind of seen around. No, it says recover books. Where at, though? They might be outside. They might- oh, yeah, they might be outside. Alright, let's get this guy. Bring it on, sir. Ooh, there's another slaver out there, too. Let's get him. Take him out, bro. Get a better job. Ow, 
bounty. Mm. It just says that they're burning books from the library. Heal up real quick. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> it's gonna take our time here. You know, heal up just a little bit. All right. <laughs> for me champ oh man all right we're gonna take our time i gotta find another way out i'm not going through those ruffians oh well they might be weak oh they're weak okay let's do it do do all right come here boys Oh my god, the captain is coming! The captain is coming! Oh my gosh, there's another captain! Stop it! Please! Alright, I'm running for it. I'm running for it. Having a good time to see. We're trying. Thank you so much, Valid, for the gifted. For copy Italian. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it. Thank you for the two gifted. I so 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 appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, we're having a good time. It's uh I did die in this instance, and I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little bit of a pain. A little bit of a pain in my tush. Okay, yeah, that's another instance. Um, we're looking for looters. I'm still looking for books. Oh, there's a book over there. I see it. Oh, and a book right in front of me. But how are you doing today, Valid? Ooh, looter. I need that. So I hit that looter and I get another looter? What? I mean, I need it, but like, bro, these guys out here are just like aggro crazy like like one guy gets hit and then his buddy's got his back i'm not used to the mobs being like so tightly formed up You said, I've uh, been remodeling a house with no power or water, so it's cold. Oh my gosh, you must be freezing. Man, that sucks. I'm so, so, so sorry. That sounds annoying as all heck. Please don't spot me, Captain. Oh, I want to go up those stairs, though. Oh, wait, there's a book over here, though, yeah? There's another looter. I need another looter. I might just take him out. I'm here. If this Corsair ruffian gets put on me, I, it won't matter. Unless he aggroes like 20. See? Look at this guy! Look at him! He literally aggro! He aggroed someone that was like all the way on the stairs! Bro! What? What? scummy how dare they actually be decent at fighting valid you said now i can i cannot see anything so i'm gonna go home oh man i bet oh yeah if it's pitch blackout is it it's pitch blackout man yeah 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 it's 27 degrees alone snowing oh my gosh no 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 snow sucks can't stand the snow ah oh, i can't go up that way so the last book must be out here. Somewhere. 
I'm staying away from that captain. That's all I know. The slavers are probably all inside still, too, so I'll have to make my way back. Oh, man. Man, where's the last book? Yeah, I can't go that way. Okay. Last book's gotta be around here, yeah? Yeah, Valid, like, that sounds crazy. Yeah, get home. Be in the warmth, man. Enjoy. Live life. Relax. Alright, it's not on the captain. Is there a book, like, hidden in the corner? No. Oh, here it is. I knew it would be hidden in the corner. Whoop! Alright, so the slavers are inside. So I need two more and then we're out of here. I'm done. Valid, you said that is, uh... I grew up here, then moved to Florida. Now I hate everything about it. Yeah, I I don't blame you. I literally, I grew up in Ohio, okay, born and raised, but I did live in Florida for a time, and now I'm like, I thought Florida was bad, but I'm like, but the snow is really, really bad, you know? It's really, really bad. Ooh, here's one. I'm, I'm so over the, the cold weather. I seriously did tell my dad I'm considering moving with him next winter. Just for a bit. So I'm like, bro, I don't I don't wanna deal with it. I don't like flying. Um, I'm terrified of heights and being on a plane just like Uber freaks me out low key, but um I'd much rather fly and be someplace warm for like a couple of months than, you know, be in the freezing cold. Slipping and sliding all on the road. I'll be a little snowbird is what I think my dad calls, um, would call me or people basically that live in Ohio during the summer but then migrate, <laughs> migrate down south to Florida or other warm climates. That's me. That'll be me maybe. I don't know, it depends. It's always work. Work's the only thing in the way. Gaudry, you said 27 degrees. It's 12.2 right now in Montreal. Oh my gosh. I don't know how y'all do it. It, it. Okay, this is the thing about snow, though. It is so dang pretty. Snow is so beautiful. But man, it is freaking cold. Valid, you said right. I think we should be able to hibernate, right? Yeah, like literally in the year... Just, we all move down to warmer climates, like, farther south, and go from there. <laughs> oh wait, I could just leave the instance, I didn't realize. <laughs> Whoopsies. Dun dun dun. Yeah, for sure. I legit am like, yo, listen. Alright, um... That didn't even count for my dailies, did it? I was hoping it would, the training, but it didn't. Alright, um, let's go talk to someone... Adam... Gadget you said, so has anyone checked Yondershire of late? I'm afraid Louis Seven is building a warden army there to invade and take over the rest of Middle Earth. Dude, that cracked me the heck up, man. This guy, he asked me during the thing too, he was like, is Yondershire in the in the presentation? I was like, because this presentation got made like two years ago. So Yondershire had come out, but like it wasn't really like talked about. It either didn't come out yet or it did come out yet, but like we didn't really talk about it much. And like, you know, maybe none of us had access at the time. I don't know. But I was like, I told him, I was like, I really don't know if it was in, in here or not. I knew. Oh. I just smacked my whole laptop. My laptop? My mic? My my mic is now a laptop? But anyway, um, yeah, but I knew before the shadow wasn't in there, so I told him that that was not going to be in it. But Yondershire, I was like, I don't know. And he's just like, everything is Yondershire. <laughs> everything was Yondershire, y'all. Everything. <laughs> everything was Yondershire, okay? 
That was hilarious to me. I was like, what are the odds? Gondo needs your aid. Gondor needs your aid. I'm just gonna take those two so I get the six. The six dailies. Doo -doo -doo. All right, yeah, there's quite a lot. Paths of the dead. Do, okay, that's a cool looking uh, frame. How may I help you, friend? How may you help me? I need to go to Morlad. Oh, you got there? Oh, you said Yoddershire came out in April 2022? Ooh, um. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> whoops. I can't remember that I must be getting my dates wrong for the presentation. I guess it was before Yondershire, and I was just not aware. Poor Louie, man. <laughs> I had the advantage. <laughs> uh, Gadger, you said he did seem to think everything was owned by Yondershire, so I'm a little concerned. What really threw me through a, through a loop was when he said Yondershire for um, Nen Hill and Ered Lewin. Like, I was like, because I saw it, and I was like, well, this is clearly Ered Lewin. And he went yonder shire and I was like Is this another Gundabad like little stunt here? Like you <laughs> you turn it, you know. But like yeah, I was like clearly the one picture it was at Nenhill, the actual location. So way, way, way down here. But when he did it, he was like, Oh yeah, yonder shire. I was like, what? <laughs> but he was saying it was like somewhere he thought it was somewhere around here like it was like right in the intersection between like arid lewin and i think i know exactly what he's talking about because i think he was thinking of over here because it's like right in between yondershire and arid lewin but there was like a lake there and it does kind of have a similar kind of look to ninhilith where it's at but I was just like, bro, what are you? <laughs> What's going on here? Um, <laughs> something's, not, something's not making sense here, but no, when he explained it, I was like, okay, that makes some sense. But immediately I was like, mm, I don't know about that, Louis. <laughs> he just kept going yonder shire, though. <laughs> it was so funny. You can't make it up, man. You just can't make it up. Now I'm like, crap, because when he kept saying Yondershire, I was like, have I not been to Yondershire? Because I thought Yondershire was greener than, like, well the actual Shire, like, <laughs> and what I mean by that is, like, I thought Yondershire was more like, holy crap, my inventory is full. How did this happen? But what I mean by that is that I thought that, um, wait, why are these tokens not, why are these tokens in my inventory and not in my wallet? Yo, is that not a thing? I guess that's not a thing. That kind of sucks. Um, well but met. when he kept saying Yondershire, I was like, well have met. I not been to Yondershire lately? Because Yondershire to me is like a light greener, like grassy shire that doesn't have as like tall of grass in the landscape. That's what I remembered from Yondershire. So I was like, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, hi, you say Aubrey Shire and Arid Louie. <laughs> Arid Louie and uh, Aubrey Shire. I like it. That's hilarious. That's a good one. That's a real good one. I could see it. It kind of rhymes. It goes together. Arid Louie. I can't with y'all. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, sell that. Sell that. Sell it all. Just sell it all. Uh, Egarthi said the tokens don't go in the wallet because they're consumable for rep. Oh, I can cons- Ooh, okay. I see. Uh, the tokens are also unbound. People trade them except the library ones are bound. <laughs> of course they're bound. <laughs> of course, the ones I did are bound. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Total sense. <laughs> With my luck, you know, it's just... 
It was bound to happen, yeah. <laughs> Get what I did there? Bound to happen. <laughs> ah, that's what hilarious. Do you bring, traveler? Um, look. The eye's gone. There we go. All right. Uh, well, uh, we got stuff. Our inventory's looking a little wonky still, but it's fine. Oh, I don't know what I got stuck on. Hi, you said, is it true that in the past you would, uh, you could pay Mithril to send bound items to other players? I don't recall. That is a great question. I don't remember. Man, I remember when Mithril came out and I was like, what kind of a thing is this? Who's ever going to use this? My dad and I used to talk so much crap about Mithril. And then I won my first Mithril, my first 250 Mithril tokens in a, a Hobbit present. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh. I love Mithril. Mithril is everything. I was swift traveling everywhere. I was like clicking all my quests like, yep, just travel me. Boop, boop, boop. I, I went crazy. Garthar said yes, he could send bound items with Mithril coins, but only if they were brought or oh, bought from the store. Ooh, they shut that down because of the gold spammers, yeah. To Mithril, you could send something from the shop through the mail? Wow. Dude, that's kind of cool. Alright, we're gonna climb our way up this to the stone of Eric. Ooh. Oathbreaker. I said, uh, what is that thing of gold spammers? I always read about, uh, there was, uh, it used to be really bad, hi. It used to be so bad. Like, literally, uh, all the time in the world chat, it would just be, like, all these gold spammers in the chat. Like, oh yeah. There's so many, like, different spams. City, but I cannot abandon the Blackroot Vale just yet. You've returned, my friend, and with a message. Um, I will return to the city. I cannot abandon. A great evil has come south, and I cannot leave the people of the Vale at its mercy. In form, it took the shape of a great winged beast, and it flew over the north. Wait, this is what we we witnessed in um in Frodo's uh, instance that we did, where he was uh, running along with Gollum, and we were at the I want to say the Dead Marshes, and um there was some sort of winged beast, but it was one of the Nazgul, I believe, was. Um, on like this, it wasn't a drake, but it it was something massively large and super crazy long windspan, so. Wingspan. Um, passing over the mountains, it circled over Eric for a time and then passed low over Morlod. I saw it only moments before you arrived, passing low in the direction of the mountains. Seems unaware of the nature of the evil, but you know it, it it to be the winged beast it rides and you have seen it before nazgul yeah we have seen we did see one of them um i think they were down somewhere in dunland we saw one of them uh, if he learns of aragorn's passage and the army of the dead that follows him so too will the great enemy learn of it you have heard of this winged creature yes we have in your eye uh you're not in agreement if the nazgul learn that aragorn commands an army of the dead much harm might be done to the desperate hope that drives him, and to the people that depend on him. Let's go at once. If you have a fellowship at Aircall, bring them along. Let's go. No, no more bands. It is my duty to face this creature. All right, let's we get it, guys. It together. A great beast flew out of the mountains, and now I fear a creature of much evil stalks the Blackroot Bay. Oh, oh! I will succeed by myself. <laughs> All by myself. <laughs> I'm always alone. Oh my gosh, it's timed. Oh. Climb the slope and stop the Nazgul from learning of his passage, of Aragorn's passage. And our friend here must not be defeated. So the Nazgul will learn about Aragorn's passage in literally six minutes. Oh, shoot. Okay, that thing's looking crazy. I love how it's just labeled as terrible steed. I guess we'll start attacking it. Oh, I guess it's not gonna attack me. It's fine. By the king of Gondor. <laughs> what a terrible creature! Do you see what it bears upon its back? This is a saddle. Or I am a dwarf. <laughs> 
We must slip it around and find this beast master. Oh, I messed up the instance already. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up. Oh my gosh, it took me out of combat. Oh my gosh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right, we made it. We must hurry. Wow, I'm shocked they let me get that. Hope remains for now. Uh, this is no place for you. I wonder if the creature, you could attack it if you're in a fellowship, and that's what you'd have to do. Uh, are we gonna trigger? Or... There we go. All belongs to my master. You are the ones who trespass. I am the bane, and I go where I will. Who are you to d deny me, brother? Swan, we're the Swan Knight of Dol Amroth, a rune keeper of great fame and tremendous skill. Aw. Well, thank you, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm flattered. Oh. Oh. You are known to us. You will not leave this place alive. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Okay, my freaking dread is awful. Oh my god. I need help! I'm being a tank. I don't mean to. I don't mean a tank. Help me. Wow, I stunned him? Can I stun him? <gasps> oh, I stunned that. Get interrupted. No, 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 no. They'll be putting more fierce stuff on me, bro. close man and oh thank you so much for the follow welcome to the weird community i hope you're having a good old day that creature brings to mind a name from the ancient years but i will not speak it my tale might have ended in the shadow of the haunted mountain if it were not but we have both faced great evil and then lived and our tales go on um i won't speak of the name but i've seen it with my own eyes the servant that terrible enemy must be told I, know I thought I did the interlude already I'm here. Myself. I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to do it. Mm, all right, so now let's get to the paths of the dead. Hey, Calder, how's it going? Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Do do. We're trying to do a little bit of Gondor dailies, I guess. Guys, I'm so pumped for Yuletide. I need to make more space in my uh inventory for Yuletide. That's what I really should do. Mm. Alright, to the paths of the dead. And uh, you said, I'm thinking of getting this game in your gameplay. It kind of makes me want to try it more. Do it! Do it, Endo. Do it. It's literally a free game. That's what I tell everyone. I'm like, y'all, this is a free game. What are you waiting for? Okay, sure. And maybe it's not totally, totally free, you know what I mean? But, like, there is a free-to-play section of it. You get access to majority of the content, like, story-wise and stuff. And, um, you do have a way that you can essentially, like, get Lotro points through playing the game and grinding deeds. So, just do it. Just do it. What are you waiting for, Endo? You could be playing a Runekeeper right now. Hey, you could, you could be having some sick lightning coming out of your hands right now. <laughs> Calder, he said, done at the gym, so chillin' for a second. Um, well, before I, before I destic kiff, what? One of the better free-to-play experiences? Yes. Uh, Ginger, you say you can play free up to level 95 without buying anything? Yes, and to put level 95 in perspective, it took me, granted, I was going a little slow, but it took me three years to get this character up to level 100, so, like... <laughs> Level 95 is a really long time. 
De-stinkify? Oh, de-stinkify, okay. Oh, well, well. Until you said, oh, well, yeah, yeah. Endo, like, this is, this is great. What other, like, MMOs have you played before, Endo? If any. Garthur, you said, um, you can play beyond level 95. There are level 140 plus players who have paid nothing for the game. This is true. I was one of those players that I was free to play for the longest time, and I did get my character up to the max level of 100 back when that was the max level, but that's no longer the case. But it's totally possible. It's great. Just do it, Endo. Just do it. It's a fun time. It's a bop. Artist, he said, I expect Heriel to be 150 by Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm thinking that she'll probably hit 150 if I really keep grinding. Maybe by the summer is my guess. If we're lucky, we'll see. Hi, you say it's insane how there's people offering 9,999 gold for a statue, right? Dude, people go crazy on the auction hall sometimes. Holy crap, I didn't realize how, like, mighty these enemies were gonna be. And he said, uh, none really. It was mostly a... A first-person shooter player, but always wanted to try these types of games. Nice! Yeah, I was pretty much kind of the same way, um, before I played Lotro. And Lotro- Lotro changed me for the better. Lotro made me into the person I wanna be. Alright, maybe I'm overselling. <laughs> I'll wait to put my rune stone down. I can take these guys out without it. I need to find ruthless rune stones. Oh, crap. Unless you count Wizard 101 from back in the day. Man, I played Wizard 101. Uh, it's literally this year for the first time ever. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. It was interesting. But we'll count that. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Edo? Yep, Coulter says it best. What you waiting for? Hmm, where the heck are the runes? Hmm. Oh, it says runes from a certain area, though. Watch streak. Let's go, Calder. Valentine's Day 2027? Well, artist, listen. <laughs> Honestly, maybe. Because it did take us three years to get to 100. Yeah, because then the new max level of 2027 will be like 170, maybe. <laughs> So yeah, it'll take us literally four years. That's crazy. That's so much time. <laughs> Doctor, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the uh oh, welcome uh, welcome to the YouTube community. The weird YouTube community. Thank you for subbing, my bad. I got confused. I didn't know what was what. And then you said I'll get it tomorrow for sure, do it. Wait, what's stopping you from doing it right now? Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll stop pressuring you, Endo. <laughs> I'll stop for the moment. Let me hang my banners. I mean, it is cool to take out, like, dead people that are blue. Like, come on. I really do like their character design. They look really cool. Man, there's so much I gotta do. Feel overwhelmed. And do you say, uh, oh, you're at work unless I get it on the office computer? 
risk your job do it no i'm totally kidding i'm totally kidding i know <laughs> i'm totally kidding no nah. okay well that makes sense uh, you get a pass then you get a pass i'll tell everyone to lay off you call there you said tomorrow hey yo chill chill man it's the work computer you know you you just we can't be downloading lotro like that oh oh crap i didn't realize i had enemies on I was gonna run. I was literally gonna run. True, true, true. Yeah, Calder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He gets a pass. They get a pass today. And Doe gets a pass today. Calder, you said, I'm just here to stir the pot tonight. Honestly, I'm in the same mood, Calder. I'm like, listen, I'm ready to just start some drama <laughs> just for that <laughs> i'm gonna cause some issues with these oath breakers man they're terrible <laughs> and they respond so quick look at how many there are now let me make sure i'm not missing anything Oh, see, bodies are on the floor. See, I'm missing stuff. Look at all the corpses. No, they're going away. Oh, I went away. Guess I'll get these. Oh, that one went. This one's gonna go by the time I... Yep, it's gonna go. It's gonna go. It's fine. I can pay attention. I can do it for one minute. I can do it. I gotta stop getting so distracted. There's so many banners! Stop it! Stop it with your banners, bro! <sighs> Bring it on. Just get it over with. I need more blossoms. Holder said, all right, lurk while I go unlock the power of shower. Have fun. The power of shower is fantastic. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, down this way. Dirt pile. I love it. Okay, it says I have like a little bit of like dread, but like. There's nothing indicating I have dread. It must just be that dark of a place that I don't even get a... a little breakdown of how dark it is. And uh, you said I joined the Discord in case I gotta ask more about the game. No worries! Yeah, feel free to check out the YouTube videos as well that I have out for, uh... It's specific to new players, so... It could be just exactly what you're looking for. But yeah, if you got any questions, hop on the Discord. We've got you. Everybody in the community is super awesome, so... If I'm not available, someone else is. We all love this game so, so, so much. I really want to play Soul Tour. And though I don't know if you've played or heard of Soul Tour, Star Seal Republic, but... That's another one that I used to play a lot. Pretty similar to Lotro. But, um... It, it's a little like Lotro is actually like relatively generous with their monetization, in my opinion, um, in comparison to like Sotor, say for example. Like Sotor, you definitely need a subscription in order to unlock like all the content. But Lotro, it's not that's not totally the case. You can't you can do it like that. You can definitely become a VIP if you want, but you don't have to. Which is what I really like about Lotro. And no, you said I I heard slash seen it, but heard it's not really free to play friendly. Yeah, Soul Tour is definitely not free to play friendly. That's for sure. But I do like it. I do like it. It's more soloing as well, and I'm more of a solo player just by default. But um, yeah. That's another one to check out whenever 
I don't know if you're like a Star Wars fan or not, but I'm like a huge one, so I'm always like, I want to play it all the time, but I can't. But yeah, Lotro is definitely more free to play friendly, so you're set. Um, all right, so I need to get more dead people and then I need to gather more runes. I don't know why I flew off of that stairwell, but uh, that's how it went. Oh, there's a chest. I'm gonna just aggro this guy real quick. Aggro on both. Aggro on both. Man, I actually kind of like Paths of the Dead. Like, this place is kind of spooky and mysterious, but it's really well designed. Not too large, either. And you said, what I like about Swotor is it's fully voiced. I know, me too! There are, um... I know that there are, like, people coming out with, like, some sort of mods or something for Lotro so it's fully voiced, but it's not the same. It's definitely not the same. That's for certain. Uh, I'm gonna get these runes real quick. Man, this place looks spooky. Is it over here? Yep, here they are. Super spooky. I thought there would be enemies coming to, like, yell at me. Yeah, Soul Tour is really cool because it is fully voiced, and I really like, um, like, the cutscenes and how some of your choices actually affect the story to an extent anyway. It's really unique. I wish Lotro could do that, but at the same time, I don't think Lotro would be the same as they could do it like that. Like, it just wouldn't make sense lore-wise, and honestly, it's better this way. Let's go. All right, two more Ruthless Dead, and then we can run back to where we were. Hi, you said Endo join the Weirdo Fellowship. Yeah, you can join the Weird Fellowship. Yeah. Hi, I'm glad you're on it, because I keep forgetting about only Weirdos, the Kinship. All right, yeah, I said Fellowship. I meant Kinship the whole time. Kinship, Kinship, Kinship. And you said our MMORPG is the only games you play. Ah, uh, I played. Well, I just played Dead by Daylight um, not too long ago with a good friend of mine. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, when I first started streaming, I was mostly playing Among Us. <laughs> I've come a long way. <laughs> um, but yeah, really honestly, right now, I've just been on the MMORPG grind. But. Um, I like to play Lego games every now and again. I play a lot of Star Wars games whenever I'm not, I guess, playing. <laughs> when I'm not playing other things. <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah, that's so funny. I actually played Among Us a couple times with the Dino Twins, so it's so crazy because we, we all kind of started streaming around the same time, so it's crazy how, um... Like, how much things have changed, I guess. Like, everyone's formulas have definitely changed a bunch. But man, there used to be a group of us, and we all used to play, and it was- it was awesome. Uh, good times, man. Good times. The Among Us days. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna swift travel. Gonna have to swift travel. Yeah, Endo, um, what kind of, like, um, FPS games do you play? I don't think I asked you that. Uh, hi, you said it's my first kinship? Aww. I I'm honored. 
I'm honored that only weirdos is your first kinship. Honestly, this is my second kinship. My second. So we're both. Uh, hi, we're kind of both in this together. Gondor needs your aid. Give me a swan box. A swan box. These are troublesome times indeed. Hmm. Uh, where are the ones I need to turn in at? Swan Knight. I'm looking for a Swan Knight. Here he is. These are troublesome times indeed. Oh How my gosh. You, Look at my inventory all. These are troublesome times indeed. How may oh, I wait, what's you, this? Friend? Oh, crafting stuff. Damage weapon scraps? Okay. All right, what can I barter this for? What can I barter any of this for? Here, let's just see if we can barter. Oh, okay, yeah, we can barter for gear. Like you said, Egarther. Um, burglar, I'm not no burglar. Who you think How I, I is? You, Ooh, silver piece. <gasps> I want runes. I could get a guide? Oh, yeah, if I were the class, the white. Mm. Ooh, that'd be a nice thing to have. Recipe. Okay, okay. Um, so sorry, I'm trying to understand what I could get some decent armor I for. Greet you, friend. Runekeeper armor, please. Oh, it's not even that good. Yeah, yeah, essences. Yeah, man, essences might be the only decent thing I could get from this. I think I'll just redeem it for the rep. I'll do it. Um, and do you say I? The Star Wars I loved a lot was Fallen Order. Yeah, Fallen Order wasn't too bad. I will say that I prefer... Um, I greet you, friend. Definitely prefer Jedi Survivor over Fallen Order. And I think I'm in the minority of people when I say that. It's gonna increase rep. Just keep increasing your rep, Aubrey. Token. I don't know what to do with the library token. Okay, I don't know what to do with any of these tokens. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. All right. Um. All right. I need to speak to Lothiriel here in the Great Hall. Uh, Enda, you say I play a lot of CS:GO. Too nice, nice. Yeah, I watch a lot. So I'm an esports major uh, at my school, and I've been watching a lot of Counter Strike. Um, like esports competitive events and stuff, and it's been crazy. It's so cool to watch. Like I'm definitely I I played like very little CS:GO in my life. I think I play probably played like a total of like five hours worth of the game, but I I was kind of I was a little cracked at it. Nothing like these esports professionals though, but it's really fun to watch anyway i prefer watching that over valorant esports which i don't know why but valorant just doesn't i don't know it doesn't feel as immersive for whatever reason to me but i love watching valorant streams all the time it's weird it's weird i'm i'm a weird one my swan knights have returned <laughs> and i thank you my gosh what, what is on your mind yep i told her about the encounter with the nazgul she says i remember the heat of the summer on the stones of the white city it was late in the month of June, and my father brought me and my brothers to Minas Tirith with a dozen riders. He did not reveal the purpose of the journey until we were in the sewerage chamber. I was to marry Boromir, the son of my father's sister. He was tall and confident, and a great warrior, and I could tell that he too did not want the match. But he was an obedient son and consented to the uh, betrothal, or betrothal, I don't know. Uh, there would have been a wedding on the warm night of June, but Boromir had a journey of his own to make, and it was decided that the wedding would occur on his return. <laughs> but he never returned. I will bring you a wedding gift, he said to me before I joined my father and brothers in the courtyard for the return to Dal Amrith. I will win this war and bring you the peace you deserve. I never saw him again. <laughs> 
Why? That's so sad. I did not want to marry him, and he did not want to marry me, like she stated, but we wanted the same thing. We wanted peace and happiness for our people. We were willing to sacrifice whatever we needed to achieve it for them. Our enemies have underestimated us. They think we are soft. They think we will give in to despair and give in to grief. But we will not. I spent more time in the study um, than the arch archivists believed. I know the name of the great enemy, the master of the foe you faced in the Black Brute Vale. I'm not afraid to utter his name. He is Sauron. And we will stand against him till the last man, woman, and child. Gondor is not without strength. We will face the great strength of Sauron, and we will defeat him or we will die. There are no other choices for us. Wow. Dude, I kind of like her. She's growing on me. She's growing on me, guys. I know that further battle with the Corsairs is unavoidable. Um, and don't you say Valorant is too flashy for me? I totally get that. For me, what makes it difficult, or at least what took me a lot of time to get used to, was like the art style i i'm not a big fan of it like it kind of low-key kind of reminds me of some fortnite like off-brand art style like it looks a lot better to me than fortnite does because fortnite does tend to have like i don't know it just has more like i feel like it has more circular like features lately instead of valorant it's more square or vice versa but uh, D&D said the, the real reason Boromir sacrificed himself, not the hobbits. He did not want to marry this woman. <laughs> he said, I will do whatever I can not to marry this chick, so I will just perish. <laughs> D&D, that's crazy. <laughs> I know that further battle with the Corsairs is unavoidable. As a ruler of the city, it is my task to defend the people of Dal Amrath for as long as I am able. Uh, I must learn that I can... Uh, I must learn what I can of our weaknesses and our strengths. Many of our strengths outnumber our weaknesses, as uh, unlikely as that may seem. If you will help me in this, go to the wharf and speak to the captains of the ship. They will know uh, the sea worthiness of their own ships and whether that might be made for battle ready. Okay, so we gotta get the ships prepared is what she's asking. Uh, ooh, we completed book one, The Road to Gondor. Ooh, man. The Strength of Sauron emote. Ooh, that sounds cool. Jay, you say he uh, hello. I'll read the cool one. Any hype for Star Wars Outlaw next year? Ooh, okay. That's a great question. One that no one's asked me, Jay. I appreciate it. Um... You know, I, I, I'm excited for the gameplay, like the combat, um, but otherwise, story-wise, uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath. Um, will I play it, though? Maybe, I don't know. People are still asking me to play Return to Moria, which I still haven't decided if I'll play, and I think it's too late now. But, um, maybe play Star Wars Outlaws. Maybe, I don't know. Should I? Should I? A any thoughts on, on Star Wars? Uh, gosh, does it really come out next year? I didn't even realize. I I will say I like I like the idea of a female smuggler, like like a Han Solo esque lady. Like the only ones we really have seen would be like Sam Weasel as a bounty hunter, which is technically a bad guy for our all intents and purposes of Star Wars. And then there was like Kira. She was with Han Solo for a bit there, but like, we don't really count that. She, she was kind of like a bad guy, too. We haven't seen a good protagonist female sm smuggler, really. Gadget said, I'm nowhere near coordinated enough to have an opinion of Valorant uh, PUBG fork knife? Is this what your cousin calls it? Or, or Counter-Strike? Uh, so I'll take all of you at your word. Yeah. My word is like very minimal though, because I don't I don't study these games enough. I just watch other people play these games a lot. That's all. <laughs> Jay, you say, are am I more of a Jedi slash Sith type? Ooh, um, no. I honestly, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Jay. I literally, I'm so over seeing Jedi as the protagonist. I'm ready for some good shooters. Okay, I'm for it. I think the thing why I'm so apprehensive about it is just that. 
I don't know enough about the story, and the thing with Disney Star Wars lately is that I don't think they know enough about their own stories. <laughs> like, they just, they seem to just be making, like, they're kind of, I think Marvel and Star Wars are in the same boat right now where they don't know what they're doing, or maybe they have an idea, but they're just having a lot of creative differences, and nothing's really being made passionately anymore, really. It just seems like a business lately, so I'm kind of like, Story-wise, I'll see. We'll see. I mean, Jedi Survivor was actually really good. I did not care for Fallen Order too much. It was all right, but Jedi Survivor blew me out of the water. I was very impressed. They did a lot better with Jedi Survivor than Fallen Order, in my opinion. But some people would say the opposite. Uh, besides all the glitches with Jedi Survivor, okay, I'll be honest. <laughs> Jay said Jyn Erso was an awesome character. I love Andor. I always liked Andor more than Jyn. I love Rogue One though, thousand percent. That is a great one. Um, I really like Andor. I liked Andor before even the show came out. I was really excited about the show because I was like, I know it's gonna be darker, because Cassian is just very much like a. You can tell he's been through some crap, and it's crazy to be like you're a part of the rebellion and you've done some shady frick, bro. You've done some shady stuff. Like it's just crazy to me. I'm so excited for season two. I'm so upset it's going to be the last, but honestly, it's probably for the best because the way that Disney runs anymore, it's like they just keep plopping them out and pushing them out. And then it's like by season three, like, I don't know what they're doing. So it's good. There's only two seasons, <laughs> but I'm so sad it's going to end soon. <laughs> Hi, you said you're more like Yoda, Yoda, Aub Yoda, Aubrey. Yeah, Yoda, Ubri. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that. Yeah. No, I think, um, I'm not a bounty hunter girl. Um, I don't think I'm, like, a huge smuggler girl. Maybe I am just more Jedi slash Sith oriented. I do really like a lot of Jedi and Sith. But I don't know. I'm, I'm at it. Oh, I don't know. It's so difficult. Like, I love Obi-Wan, and, like, as a character. He's a great character. Count Dooku, one of the best characters in Star Wars, he's a villain. But man, when it comes to like bounty hunters, I'm like, I do have quite a few bounty hunters I like, but I'm never like as impressed by their abilities sometimes. I don't know. Cad Bane though, he's a sick bounty hunter. He's awesome. He's like top tier up there, man. Um, but anyway, sorry. <laughs> just going on my Star Wars rant. I need to, I need to play Swotor soon. Because I have a lot of Star Wars I could just keep talking about all day. <laughs> Gadget, you said I heard that there is a Dark Forces remaster coming out. I think that's going to be a free, uh, oh, a first person uh, shooter. Nice. Hi, you said Obi Wan Ken Aubrey. Obi Wan Ken Aubrey. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm not as wise as Obi Wan. to know how much sea power she commands. The way he said that. Wait, hold on. Did you guys hear this? The daughter of Imra here wishes to know how much sea power she commands. It's the way he says sea power and then the way he goes, like, he's like, sea power she commands, like, <laughs> my gosh. The daughter of Imra here wishes to know how much sea power she commands. <laughs> like, I don't know who read this, but when they said commands, it sounds like they go to, like, this nasally voice. They're like, where she commands, like, it's <laughs> so weird. <laughs> The daughter of Imra here wishes to know how much sea power she commands. <laughs> I don't know. I hear it. It's like ands. I he I start hearing it. Anyway. Um, I'm afraid a few others will stand for her fleet unless she requests aid from Pelagreer. Look at the sea gate. Wow. Yeah. You see the truth of it? We are hemmed in and cannot escape. Man is super sus about it. Listen to this voice. You see the truth of it? We are hemmed in and cannot escape. It sounds like he went like two times speed on the. You see the truth of it? <laughs> What's this? You see the truth of it? We are hemmed in and cannot escape. Dude, whoever this voice actor was, I don't know if it was the reading of the lines or what, but like he 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 missed the beats a couple times. <laughs> he just, I think it went a little wild on it. He went a little too over exaggerative. 
Uh, the ship lies beyond the sea gate, and every unfriendly eye on the deck of each is trained upon the narrow space. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we are helmed and cannot escape. Yeah, I was like, those look like Corsair ships, which I'm like, that's kind of crazy. They're so close to our base. <laughs> They're just chilling. They're just like, hey, how's it going? We're just, uh, we're just gonna come in and say hello and, uh, you know, raid your entire, uh, city, but it's fine. Yeah, I need to play SOTOR again so we can all just ramble on and on and on about Star Wars stuff and that it, it would be okay. Because every time I go on a ramble about Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, I always feel bad because people are like, Aubrey, this isn't Lord of the Rings lore. I don't know what you're talking about. I wanted to watch Star Wars. I would watch Star Wars. <laughs> but I get it. I'm just, I'm, I'm definitely more of a Star Wars nerd than Lord of the Rings. I don't know anything about Lord of the Rings lore besides this game. Uh, Varn, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the weird community. Uh, Endo, you said, I, I gotta go finish up some work. So have an amazing stream and see you guys around. Yeah, Endo, yeah. Thanks for joining the Discord and I hope that you check out Lotra soon. If you have any questions, just let us know. We got you. Did you see the mighty ship in the waters outside the city? The mighty ship. In the waters outside the city. What is what is going on, bros? Oh, that is the flagship of the Umbar fleet, the Night Jewel. The Night Jewel. Ooh. Many Gondorian ships have succumbed to the attacks of the Night Jewel during the years since the disappearance of the greatest foe of the Corsairs. Would that he had returned before the Night Jewel was constructed and might have prevented it. But none have seen him since he routed the Corsairs almost 40 years ago. He's likely dead. I would not sail my ship against the Night Jewel unless I wanted her to lie on the sea bottom. <laughs> none of our ships are a match for one. Hey, Melody! Welcome back! Hello, hello! Let's go! You haven't missed much. I died. I, I, I died during an instance. We're trying to figure out what's, why the Corsairs are blocking our path, but it there is what no it is. Good tidings, friend. Um, if there is any good fortune here, it's that a few ships are trapped at the wharf and most of Gondor's fleet must be found at the port city of Pelagrir to the east. They're too far away to help us, but at least those ships are not caught like rabbits in a trap as we are. It is I hopeless. I told my crew to find what merriment they can throughout the city. Alright, so we gotta find the crew. Right, crew, we're gonna get ya. We're gonna get ya. We're gonna get ya. Oh, sorry. Let's hit that. Oh, we might have to do these. We might, we might. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Melody, you say incapitation is not fun. Yep, it is not fun. I was reminded of how lucky I am. I, I did not experience this multiple times. Gadget said maybe they'd let a mariner by. Honestly, yeah, probably. Mariners out there, you guys get a secret, secret way around. Ooh! I got a nice tracery. Um. Oh gosh, guys. I'm so overwhelmed with all the stuff in my inventory. That's okay. We're gonna get through this. We got this. We got this. We can do this, we can do this. Oh yeah, let me use my stuff. For example, I need to use some of my consumables that I got from like the Fall Fest or whatever. Do, 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 do. Isn't it crazy that we're in Gondor? We're just chilling in Gondor. No biggie. Man, we've barely gotten any XP. I feel like I haven't done anything this stream other than craft and like, um, Pretty much just uh, try to do some quests, but it doesn't seem to be working out as great as I thought, as our XP has barely gone up. Alright, let's find the crew. Uh, we dropped a couple frames, but it's fine. Just hit refresh if you're a little bit behind. Do do do. Alright, crew, get it together! All right, let's return um, another crewman, bro. Why you why you chit chatting with this chick? Okay, you got a job to do. 
Ooh, I like this guy. He seems like he's thinking. Oh, he had a drink in his hand. Never mind. He was drinking. He wasn't thinking. He was drinking. Big difference. We don't want we don't want drunken crewmates here now. Our lives depend on it. Why is everybody enjoying a drink? Okay, our odds don't look that great, but bro, I did say to go and drink. I said to help us out. What the heck? They're drinking on the job. All right, return and study the situation. Okay, we can do that. Uh, look at all the places we've got to go yet. So many places. Central Gondor. I have roving threats yet. That's crazy. Hey, Savage! I'm here! I'm so late! Oh, you're fine, Savage. You haven't missed much, honestly. We did a lot of crafting. Honestly, it took like an hour to craft, which is just ridiculous. Um, and then also, we, um, we did like a couple little instance things for the dailies in Gondor. And, uh, we're just now getting started with the story quest. But my inventory well, is driving me cray cray. So I want to make sure it's all settled. Oh my gosh, I have no vault space! Why? Mm. I have so many XP boosts and I don't even need them. Let's put them away. Um, <laughs> Melody, how dare they be so... Neg neg negligent, yes. Uh, Savage, you say I fell asleep on low tro, lol. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious, Savage. Yeah, crafting is timely. Yeah, I did not realize how flip and timely it is lately. Look at all this. I've got like two things in here for my house. Why do I even have that? Just sell that. I don't need to track humanoid creatures right now. I will keep the hope one, though, because the hope sometimes is useful. Um... Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. All right, I'm going to have to go to my house. Unfortunately, I can't quick travel back, which really, really sucks. Um, it was a good sleep, Savage and Ice. That is good. That is good. Eh, uh, my poor alts are gonna have the same problem I have with their inventory when I log into them. They're gonna be like, "What is going on? We cannot compute. Cannot compute." Let's give her that. Boop. I don't know what to do with these weapon scraps, so I'm just gonna leave them be for now. Oh wait, I guess I should put my treasure map away too. What do I do with some of this stuff? What? Oh, I need an auction hall. I need to put my dies up in the auction hall again. Hi, you said, why don't you choose one of the 22 other characters you don't really play that has a free vault? Honestly, you right. <laughs> but I don't want to log in and out. That's too much work. That's too much work right now. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Honestly, I need to make like a trash alt that just keeps everything. Well met. I really should. You're right, hi. You're, you're right. I just don't want to go through the tutorial right now. <laughs> I I keep saying that. I'm like, yeah, I should make a trash ult, but I, I never do. I never do. I'm a mess. I'm a mess, guys. I'm a mess. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Hi, you say I know what it is. Savage, you say we put, we put up the garage at New House we're building. It was snowing, so I got really tired once I get warm again. Yeah. I don't blame you, Savage. I'd be the same way. I'd be like, yo, I'm tired. No. <laughs> That's how I am right now, because the lighting in here, it's gotten, like, really extreme now, because I just finally brought in my last big light I have, and then I have this light, 
that's right on me and it gets really warm and i get really cozy here and i think that's what's causing me to be like oh yeah let me just you know get sleepy now i'ma just be sleepy um okay i need to go to my home and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i believe my home its storage is filled up as well. I'm relatively sure that is the case. I'm pretty sure. You know what? I'm going to sell this food. I don't even eat the food. I'm a picky eater. So just sell it. Sell it. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just go home. We'll drink from our keg, too. Why the heck not? We'll drink from our keg. We'll drink from our keg. Hi, you said I've never seen your house. Well, you're about to. <laughs> you are about to. Oh, I'm getting tired now, guys. I'm getting tired. My back has been really hurting me today. I, I think I'm, um... I need to get better. Welcome to my, uh, my, uh, my lovely home. I've got Sam just chilling here. Hi, hey Sam, say hi. I my apple goblins out. Yeah, give me something else to put in my inventory. Thank you. He gave me carrots! Let's go, I'll take some carrots, bro. I appreciate it. This is my- this is my home. There's not much in it. Or is there? <laughs> it's just taking forever to load. <laughs> Savage, you say nice? Yeah. Yeah, I've got some, like, misty, like, vibes going on. I feel like this character is, like, my low-key emo, like, dark side. Just very- my very low-key and tune touch with emo side, maybe, because it's- uh, we've got, like, the misty fog going on. we got pictures of goblins. we got freaking the orb over here. It's just chilling. We got a cat, though. That's cute. And uh, my favorite piece now is I love the Grey Company portrait. It's so adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Grey Company is... Honestly, I think Grey Company is like my most favorite part of the whole story. I really enjoyed kind of working with them. So I'm, I'm hope that we get to see them in the future. This is our bar area. Doesn't it look so good, y'all? I'm so proud of our bar. We've got all the traveling kegs in this area. And it's snowing for Yuletide. And then, you know, these are like the crappy kegs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get that pick. Melody, it literally, I just got it like not that long ago. So it takes, I think you get it at like, once you complete the story. Once you complete the story and you find the Grey Company after Helm's Deep. Sorry for spoilers, but. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Melody, you say it gets dark outside at like 5 o'clock where I live. Makes me so tired. Yes, me too. I don't like it. Like, stop it. Just stop it. All right. Well, there's another treasure chest. We already have one up. Um, <laughs> Like, why do I have these in here? What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, <laughs> What else did I have? A Night and Stars Tapestry. Let's see. What what can I get put on? Wait, where'd it go? I just saw it. Okay, wall. It's on the wall. Uh, what can we do? Knights and stars try- Alright, looks good. Looks good to me. GG. <laughs> see, this is my decorating. Like, I'm not a big- I used to get really into, like, decorating my home. Not so much anymore. Like, even look at my carpets. They're different. I don't like that. That's, like, terrible, like, home design but whatever. <laughs> They'll live. Um, I think that's all, yeah? I think that's all. Oh, also, do you guys know what I should do with these runes? Can I, like, use them or nah? I don't think I can. I'm just about to sell them. Because they could be worth, like, some good money. Some decent money. Uh, I wish I could just sell them. House competition coming up! You know, I did have plans for one. I do at some point. I will, maybe. Um, just not right now. Not- not- not today. Not today, anyway. 
Um, but maybe at some point in the future. Oh wait, I said I was gonna drink from a keg. Do I- what? I teleported? I totally just teleported, low-key? High-key? Um, okay. Why can't you use the enchantment rounds? Because they're too low. I out-leveled them. Um, cause, uh, they're- they're one of the- <laughs> They're one of the limited item level ones. Did you out-level them? Yeah. I did. I did. The older rooms with levels already signed to them go on a storage alt for any later levelers. At least that's what I do with them. That is a smart idea. Gadget, that's a really smart idea. I need to make another ult, is what I'm starting to realize. I need to make an actual ult. Endo, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing to YouTube. I appreciate you. Um, That's a good idea. Where is my house I want to visit? Um, It is... It's six Myrtle Courts in the Shire. Uh, I think my address is... Starts with an A. Yeah, Six Myrtle Court. And I think it's Ando's N? Yeah, Ando's N. Yep. Crook Hollow. You know, you know. You can come say hi, hi. <laughs> uh, Melody, you said, I have a couple premium houses I regret. Why did I purchase them? <laughs> You said that their rent is too high and I don't have enough house items for them, LOL. Yeah, I get that. I would regret it too. That's why I haven't bought any premium ones yet, because I'm like, yo. I will regret it. I know I would. I just know it. Oh, I do need to pay my rent, though. Let's go. All right, we're not getting locked out until June 9th. Yay. I wish I could kind of spruce up the outside. I feel like the outside could use a little something something. It's a little something something. Yeah, I honestly really don't even use our, our home storage that that much, so. Uh, the buffless one I actually use for the Erebor one I really regret. Wow. Dang. Yeah, I would like to get a premium house at some point, but you know, it is what it is. What does this do? Oh, this travels me to Umbar. I don't want to go to Umbar right now. <laughs> Whoopsies, I almost went to up bar, guys! Alright, I'm gonna wait for Hi to arrive so we can give a proper welcome and then uh, we'll drink from the keg. Melody said swimming in the Gold River mix up for it sometimes, though. Dude, that's sick. You're yeah, sick that you can do that. Hmm, alright. Well, while we wait, I guess I could put together my stuff. I have way too many essences, y'all. I have too many. Um, send that to my jeweler. My jeweler is also my cook. Farming. I need to farm. Send that to my jeweler. Uh, metal smith. Do, 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 do. Send that to the metal smith. Okay, well, that's something. We've got a little something-something happening. I need to go to the auction hall. I've got, like, four things I need to work on. You know what? I'm gonna do something crazy. No, I'm not I'm not gonna put a cosmetic in there. No, no, no. I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. I can't. Uh, Melody said, I could probably just use the houseworker to go to a random airborne neighborhood and swim in the Gold River. Honestly, yeah, you could do that. But where's the fun in that, Melody, you know? You're like, I paid to swim in this Gold River, okay? what I do. That's what I do, so. Alright, we're just gonna jump for joy as we wait for Hi to arrive. I love that I have a Samwise, though. That was an awesome little thing to get. I do have a universal toolkit to give to someone, too. I guess I should change my doormat as well, yeah? I don't like having apple goblins in the way of my house. My door. 
other doormat do I have? Dude, Samwise snuck up on me and it scared me. Wait, I could add space! Wait, maybe I add space. Um, where's my frick? <laughs> what dyes do I have? I have, uh, uh, sienna, indigo, and gold. Maybe we add more house space? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I don't have a regular doormat. Whoops. Doo-doo. Maybe I put another fireplace in the middle of the room? Make it even out a little bit more? Oh no, I can't. Oh, maybe? Oh, I could. Ooh, I don't like it there, though. That one's taken. Ooh. We're just gonna have <laughs> fireplaces galore. Mm. I'm gonna line it up with the one in the back. Eh, they look kind of aligned. Bro, my... <laughs> I think I made it worse, guys. I think I made it worse. <laughs> I just got two fireplaces that are both uneven. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh... <laughs> LOL, I contributed to the gold river. Heck yeah, Melody. Gotta just say the first few upgrades are gold for house space, but then... They want tons of me from- yeah, I know, that's why I'm like, well, let me just use up some gold while I still can, you know? Alright, so if I came in the door... Make that aligned there. And then here, we'll align it. Yeah, maybe? I don't know why I keep opening up my inventory. What? Guys! Guys, Sam is- Sam's- Sam's floating! What happened? He's on the fire! He's gonna burn! He's becoming a second breakfast! No! <laughs> Sam, what are you doing, bro? Don't do it! Don't become second breakfast! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! He's stuck. He's so stuck. I got him kind of stuck. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoopsie doozies. Schwartz material right there. Yeah, I just hit it as a marker. <laughs> He's becoming a second breakfast. Gadget, you said if he pulls out a lightsaber, run. He's Sith. Oh no, I'm running. I'm running right to the in league sinister keg, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Okay, let's dance. Let's dance. Dun, dun. Put on your red shoes and dance. Uh. Let's dance. Dance in the moon. I can't remember what's the song. <laughs> Let's dance. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh boy. Oh, hey, we're in Fort Cal. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Now the real question is, is this enemy territory or good people territory? It looks like good people territory because I don't see any enemies. Uh, Melody said, what about hi? Uh, I'm sorry, hi. I, I drank from the keg. I tried waiting, but it just, it wasn't, it was, it was taking too long. I could, I could hold out anymore. I'm pretty sure you're in Yondershire. Oh, you're right, Gadget. The, I totally, yeah. Totally forgot about Yondershire. You right, you right. I guess I'll just take out some of these worms. I mean, I gotta sell. Might as well get a little bit of a slayer, right? 
No problem, my client died. Oh no, dude, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Well, I guess we're just gonna, you know, try to work on Slayers drunk. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> my poor room fever, too. She looks. I can't even see. Like, it's so whited out. Like, brightness is just crazy right now. All right, I see people. We're, we're done. Where are my trousers? Where are they? All right, don't do this guy. Oh. What? I didn't complete the quest? Oh my gosh. Close your eyes, guys, because this is going to be one of the saddest sights you're going to see. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, my heart. It just sped up either. <laughs> Why? My heart. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I'm really glad I got some more mithril. <laughs> because then I'd, my heart would really be broken. <laughs> now, do you say those poor worms? They just see a drug person with magic rocks and no trousers coming, dude. They're they're traumatized. That's fair. You make a really uh, good point there, Melody. They they probably are very traumatized. They're like, what the heck? What is going on? We just can't, we can't, we can't understand. It does not compute. Uh, where am I trying to go? Oh, I need an auction hall, so it's fine that we go to Bree. I guess we can probably do a, a deed, maybe. Something or another, you know. You know, you know. Ooh. Store boots? For 1,000 Virtue XP, though? Yikes. I want that housing item, though. Um, wait, why is this 1,000 Virtue XP for discovering things? That's upsetting. Oh, I guess I could have done stuff in Forakel, yeah? <laughs> Whoopsies, I could have gotten two done! Maybe go to Fort Camp real quick, guys. Maybe, just maybe. Just doing a quick little sum something now. Uh, let me go to the auction hall. I'm gonna sell some stuff. That store deed is really fun, really? I've never done it. What can I do for you? <gasps> oh, I have to go to Minas Tirith for one of the intros. That's cool. Osgiliath, Pelagrir. Pelagrir. Peller, Peller, Greer, Gear, Gur, Gur. Um. I don't know why I'm in my vault, but I just do it out of habit at this point. Ooh. I need to find someone that I can use my consumable on. Oh, hey. You're, you're someone. Hello. Goodbye. Get scared. I hate when people oh, do that I to me, and service. I hate to be that person, but I needed to activate that deed. My bad. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, that'd be cool to get that, though. 300 consumables is crazy. Melody, you say it's in the I think you have to find hobbit size stuff around. Ooh, that's cool. That is cool. All right, um, where are my dice? Right in front of my face, okay. Uh, I guarantee you that a lot of people have these cave claw masks on the auction hall, so I almost don't wanna post them up and almost think that maybe just selling them would be more beneficial for my time. E outfits in and then head. 
Goblin mask, goblin mask, goblin mask. Wow. No cape claws. Interessante. Oh, it's bound to my account. Well, <laughs> there goes that. Uh, we're just gonna sell that then. Um, dies. D -d -d dies. I need. Uh, we do have gold die. We have three. This person's selling it for six gold for seven. So maybe we do like two gold for ours. Someone bound to buy two gold right here. I'll do an initial of like a gold and then two. Actually, I'll do it for 500. So then that way someone might just spend it. Um, what else do I have? I have navy as well. Or no, I have indigo. My bad. I have indigo and sienna. Which there are no CNR or indigo. That could work in my favor though. Um, honestly, for indigo, it never sells. I'm gonna go for five. I'm going low ball. I just need it out of my friggin' space. Sienna, same thing. It never sold. I'll do three. Heck, this is three gold. Take it or leave it. Um, I'm gonna sell. Greetings, friend. My cave claw masks are important to sell too. Okay, cool. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, wow, we got more hateful eyes. I can't sort by unit buyout. Maybe. That's a good. Uh. That's a good. Uh. Suggestion, actually. Ooh. It's okay. We'll wing it. We just wing everything now, right? We're the winging masters. Um, wait, I need to sell that. Uh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You literally came when I asked you to I can zoom up a hole. <laughs> it was the worst timing. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Okay, I deserve that. I deserve that. Wait, do you really name your cosmetic animal a snack? Oh my god. Chill, man, chill. I love the celebration. This is great. Um, what was I doing? You distracted me. Hi. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? <laughs> um, it was nice seeing you. Hi. Uh, let me sell this or mail this. I almost said email this to my character. Let me just email this to my character real quick, guys. I hope y'all don't mind, uh, but girl's got an email. Oh yeah, I can trash that too. Trash these two. Trash that. There we go. Okay, then we have a little something something. I could farm too. Ooh. How can I be Forgot I have to farm at some point, yeah? Crafting is important, guys. Crafting is literally, 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 and did I say literally, important. Dude, I read so many comments anymore where it's like, oh my gosh, she always says literally. She always says essentially. Like, she needs to broaden her vocab. Like, bruh. I get it. I, I get it. Oh! Wait, yo! Hi, I know you bought these dyes. I, you bought all these dyes. You, you, yeah, I have to do that. I know it. I know it's you. I know it's you. I know it's you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> I was you. like, there's just no way. No freaking way. Um. Uh, where was I at? Oh, yeah. Dull Emrith. Okay. We're going to go back now that we have inventory space. And we got some stuff oh, out of our, of our stuff, of our clutter. Okay, um, 
I have to talk to someone and study the situation. Oh yeah, the, the sailors, the captain. Do, do, do. I'm probably gonna wrap up stream here soon, y'all, because I do need to edit the Yuletide video, and I have a very busy day tomorrow. So I want to sleep in as much as I can, because I'm very tired. <laughs> I have literally not gotten that much sleep lately, so I need to be on it. Melody crafting is amazing, heck yeah. Oh yeah, you said that's my default auction hall sort method, just a suggestion. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good method. I totally went the wrong way. Hi, you said now that I think about it, I should have bid for like two, 20 gold. No, it's okay. Hi, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. I appreciate it though. Well, you say sleep is so amazing. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, sleep is incredible. I love sleep. I've been slacking on it though lately, which is really bad. I need to get it together. Do do. Yeah, I need to I need to stop my approach of sleep is for the weak and actually be like, oh yeah, sleep is for people that, you know, want to be energetic and like lively in their day. Savage, you're so close to level 30. Congrats. That's awesome. Where are you questing at right now? Like Lonelands? I like questing out in the Lonelands. Oh, I'm totally going past the uh, person we got to speak with. Oh! Oh my gosh, there's Corsairs right there. Jump it! Oh, look at us! These Corsairs came here on a flag of peace. <laughs> I bring a message for the ruler of this city. Can you take me to this man? Uh, it's true, a woman rules the city? Bring me before her, I will deliver my message. You tell her that you'll bring the message, but not the messenger. He nods, apparently impressed with your response. Uh, tell her this then, that the heir of Casimir and the ruler of every Gondor shore licked by the, the waves invites her to treat with him on the deck of the mighty ship. Oh, wait your response? They wanna treat her? Seems like a trap. Something's fishy going on. Sleep the activity of champions, pretty much. Yeah. I know. I gotta get more sleep lately. I gotta be a champ again, Melody. You know, I, I need to be a champ. You be a champ. Especially with the old tide coming up, bro. I ain't gonna get no sleep. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing and streaming the old tide festival on all my alts that I never play. Who knows? Maybe it'll <laughs> force me to make another ult. Savage, you said Midwater Marshes I'm farming at right now. Oh, nice. You're south of Chetwood. Cool. All right. Got you. Yeah, get you these, uh, get you like the, the, um, the sickle flies. I think it was sickle, right? Sickle flies? I always thought they were sickly flies. I always called them sickly flies. <laughs> yeah, because those are like the toughest, um, mob out there to get from the Slayer. Which reminds me, I should mark an exploration deed just because it's important to have. I guess we could travel around Lothorian, maybe. I want past the thing again. Wow, I did not do much in Lothorian at all. I do need the mirrors. Southern Mirkwood. I don't want to go back. To Look at that 15 Lotro points. Sheesh. I'll go anywhere for 15 Lotro points, huh? Great River. I feel like that's where we should go. I don't really go to Great River often. It's really nice, but... Melody, you said when you said champ, I thought you literally meant the class and was like more levelly. <laughs> Super neat to think about deeds. True. For sure. I don't know why, this kind of low-key looked like an Aragorn for a second. Guy looks very familiar. Um... Yeah, I, um... I should make another champ, you know? I had a champ a long time ago. Something must be done. Mm, thank you for bringing the message to me. Something must be done. 
Ooh, okay, instance time. I'm just gonna destroy that. I could use your counsel. Champ like champion level ESO, heck yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm the ruler, and it's my duty to do what is best for my people. Would my father treat with uh, the Corsair? Would he have gone to the enemy's flagship under a banner of peace? It does not matter to me what the prince might have done if he were in his daughter's position, for he is not. I do not think that he would have made his request on the oh f with the prince. She must not trust him. He is a snake like the others who call themselves heirs of Castamir, and his flagship will not be a place of safety for her or anyone. You must urge her to reject the proposal. Oh. Guys, what do we do? Do we tell her to go? To try? I kind of want to tell her to go. I'm curious because that seems unlikely that they would want to speak with her. And if they wanted to trap her, I mean, I guess this is a smart way of doing it. Sneak, how are you doing? Savage, you say go? I think you're right. I think I'm going to say go. Sneak, you say no, don't let her go? What must we decide? Okay, can I read the comments before, like, saying what we could do? You go? Wait, I could go? Well, I think we would go together, yeah? I think that's what would happen. I'm gonna tell her to go. Uh, you're right, as the ruler of the city, I have an obligation to end this conflict. Conflict if it is in my power to do so. I do not place any own safety any I do not place my own safety above that of my people. Perhaps I should meet with him as a meeting could save us. Nope. Uh oh, wait. <laughs> Melody, you say no, go. Sneak, you're saying nope. You're like no no no. <laughs> Sneak, we're gonna do it. If she dies, then she'll be with Boromir. Okay, she'll be with Boromir. So it'll be okay. It'll be fine. <laughs> all right yep we're going it's fine girl just stop it's an unwise co girl chill you live in a cave bro you can't speak even though she's really friendly so that was kind of rude of me i'm so sorry uh if this course might save innocence must i not risk it what if another were to go an adventurer one used to danger <laughs> You mean me? <laughs> it's me! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> For honor, yes! Uh, I do if, you, if the roomkeeper is willing. <sighs> if I must go, this would have been more interesting if her and I had went together, but whatever. Uh, I know you have the strength and wits to survive any treachery. Remain alert. Do not trust the words of him or any of his men. Uh, if you see an opportunity to seize any advantage, you should take it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, I got it. I dealt with a lot of corrupt, backstabby people uh, before, ma'am. Uh, quite a few. I should have got myself, but if this plan eases her mind. Uh, if I must go. Uh, it's an awkward and unpleasant silence. Oh my god, they enslaved? They enslaved our people? The flagship, uh, you are here under a flag of peace, and if it were otherwise, you would never leave it. I'll bring you to him. He will not be pleased that you have come and said of his of the prince's daughter, but that is not my concern. This way. I swear you better not touch my freaking soldiers for anything. <laughs> well, I guess you end up there with either try yep, sneak, that's what it seems like. A captain says so city's ruler sends her response. Um Ooh, this is gonna be a tough guy to smack down. Did he fail to convey my request? I will slay him where he stands? Bro, chill. How am I to interrupt this response? It reveals that she does not respect my wishes and distrust my word. 
It is a cowardly response for it shows she values her own life and safety above those of others. Yeah, bro, that's what she said. That's why she wanted to go. Uh, but it also shows wisdom. If she had to come here, there would be no question Gondor would be mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, how much would the prince have given to have his daughter returned and saved him? <laughs> That's a smart- wow. <laughs> it does not matter. A mere exercise of the mind. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He, he was like, yeah, how dumb of her not to show up. But if she would have showed up, you know, I really could have just, you know, captured her. And then I, I would have Gondor. So. Assume you have the power to speak for Dol Amroth. Uh, uh, I almost said my name. <laughs> Aubrey. <laughs> Do you understand? No one can enter or leave without my permission. Okay, sir. Whatever. Get off your little high horse, sir. Uh, uh, every way except the title. I'm now the Lord of Dol Amroth. Bro, get off your high horse. You must have already known this. Most of Gondor's warriors have been called to battle elsewhere. Even where they hear uh, it's little to do against us in the fleet. But I have been a poor host. You must be quite parched. And I have done naught to tell you things you already know. Um, I'm not gonna... Why would I drink his wine? I don't trust you. You must think I'm a fool. You first. My tastes are more refined than... <laughs> okay, guys. Another question. Another poll here. Do we drink the wine or do we not? I think we say him first. Because that, that is a little rude, and he might not want to trust us. But, like... Then it's like, yo... Like, we would just drink from the thing that he drinks from. Like, then we don't. You must think I'm a fool? Uh, ooh, I don't know, man. That's the, I think that's a little too harsh. Well, I guess it's better than saying I don't trust you. Ooh. Him first? How you say him first? <laughs> I don't know. Seems risky. It does seem risky. This is tough. I feel like... Because, like, this is my thing. I'm like, if we drink from his wine, like, what happens? We end up in prison? Like, we break out. We're freaking room keeper here, y'all. Like, you know. Um, I'll say you first. He remains impassive, revealing nothing. I refuse. His eyes flash angrily at your refusal. But I'm not thirsty. He's not thirsty either. Oh, <gasps> that was sussy wussy. Oh, okay. You see the seafaring power of Umbar rebuilt from nothing. 30 years ago, a hero of Gondor sailed to Umbar at the head of the fleet. He burned the ships he found at the port and took the city. The Corsairs have spent the time nursing their hurts and rebuilding their power. No hero will save Gondor from them this time. Where is that hero now? He's gone. Now I've come to return to that overdue favor. I will burn his fleet as he did that of Umbar. There will be nothing left to rebuild when I'm finished with it. Okay, well that was pretty intense, sir. Cause oh crap, we do have the we do have those enslaved people. He lies. It's clearly poison. You right, you right, you guys are on it. I'll go with the rest of them. Gondor does not have the strength to resist me. Therefore, I make the following demand. Alright, what's your demand? The complete and unconditional surrender of the Gondorian ghost. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> uh, I demand that you return to Umbar. I demand that you free these slaves. I demand that you abandon this war. <sighs> I want to free the slaves. I really, really do. But if we say to just do that, he's definitely still going to take over Gondor. So, unfortunately, we can't take him with us. No one, hello there. Um, I would say abandon this war because I think that's a little more specific than just returning to Umbar. But also, he could just say, like, oh, yeah, I did abandon the war, and then I started this new one, and it's, like, basically the, the old one anyway. So I think we're just going to say that we demand that he returns to Umbar. But then he might just return himself and not his whole fleet. <sighs> let me read it. Okay, let me get specific. He stares at you impassively. Okay, I don't like that response. I don't like when he just stares at me. He just stares at me no matter what. He just stares at me. Oh. 
I... I demand he abandons this war. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. Abandon this war. From what position of strength do you negotiate such terms? Yeah, I don't know what I'm negotiating. Abandon this war? You must think me a fool. <laughs> Who abandons a foot race when he is in front of all others? <laughs> okay. No, I will continue to fight. Bring my terms to surrender to the daughter. Phew. Man, this is crappy. Uh, I will give you no boat. Jump off the side and swim to shore. <laughs> I will count to five, then I want you off my ship. Wait, what happens? What happens if we stay? I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna be bad. I'm gonna... <laughs> my patience has run out now. You die. <laughs> I'm done! I'm done! I swear! I'm going! Died. I think my character died. <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. He didn't even count to five. You can't even trust this man's word. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, boy, that was hilarious. I said, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Kill you dead, bro. I was like, if he starts swinging on me, I'd be messed up. <laughs> I would not live. <laughs> All right, mark my words. Uh, that scoundrel will pay for this betrayal. This is the sort of treachery I would expect from anyone calling himself an heir of a Casimir. Did you learn anything about his plans? I really, truly did not. I didn't know that was my objective. I mean, we know that he wants to do exactly what happened in the past, more or less, but like in reverse. He wants to burn all of our stuff. But, you know, like, I, I'm sure that was... You didn't have to sneak on a board to kind of get that sort of, you know, answer and conclusion. I'm pretty sure it's a little self-explanatory. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. That was hilarious. Dang, I'm actually quite sad that the slaves were not able to get freed. That actually hurt because, like, they were not in the best condition. And knowing that there are, like, um, people of Gondor that are just suffering like that is just ugh. so sad uh i don't think there was a way we could have saved those slaves though hey sergeant major fish how's it going hope all is well yeah all is pretty okay uh personally life's been so hectic but um getting through it man one day at a time you know do 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 um but story wise things are like wild right now we almost probably got poison i really wish that i could go back and see like what happens like if you get poisoned or not i have to look up the quest and like see all of the outcomes i'm getting so many messages Do 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 do. Uh, it's you say hi. This is my first stream of yours. It's hard to catch until why you six hours behind. Oh my gosh! Yeah, no worries. It's thank you so much for joining in, though. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I bet it's hard to catch. I've actually I've been to Hawaii and the time difference was a lot for me. Like I didn't realize how far behind Hawaii was until I got there. Is content to keep the ships of this is trapped within the city. Uh, this is what I suspected, but it's good to hear it directly. It seems that he's content to keep the ships of Dal Dal Amrath trapped in the city and will sail with as much force as he can spare to Pelagrir, where he will try to take the rest of the fleet unaware. I need you to ride there and warn them. Travel through the Vale, uh, Ringlow Vale, and telling the people to seek shelter. Uh, I have not been to the Vale for some months, but I remember the town. We'll be on your way. All right. All right. There we go. So basically, now we're going to start heading towards Pelagrir. Our Pel is it Pelagrir? Yeah. Am I saying this right? I want to make sure because I'm going to end up saying it like 20 times over. Pretty sure it's Pelagrir. Pelagrir. I just- it just looks spelled differently. That's why I'm like, am I saying this right? 
Um, but it, we're gonna be traveling that direction, which is perfect because we do have an introduction quest out that way. So we're going more Eastern Gondor now. Uh, it's you say I had to get my daily Lutra content in since I'm on the gate until 9 p.m. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, get your Lotro uh, content in there. It's I get you. Man, sometimes it, it's really hard for me to watch other Lotro streamers because I really am like, I really just want to play Lotro like right the second. So it just I can't watch it sometimes because I'm like, I just want to play it so bad. I can't watch or else I'm just going to be forever like like itching to play it. Um, where do we go? Oh, okay. So we're we gotta go near, like Landon, back over there again. Okay, I can swift travel there. Um, Sergeant, you say Miss who is in Hawaii, but I went to grad school. Hawaii Pacific, you in Honolulu, nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's Gri a Grizz over on YouTube. That's um, who's from Hawaii. Uh, you said that Sergeant Major Fish, you say your Twitch name is a native Hawaiian fish. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. Holy crap. Stunning Steve, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the weird community. I like your username and I hope you have a good day. <laughs> uh, it's you say, I just want to level my lore master. Finally use a sword. Dude, lore masters when they get the sword, pretty impressive. It, it'll be so worth the wait. Uh, it's you say the army sent me here for my duty session. Ooh, or station, sorry. <laughs> nice! Well, that's cool. At least you get to be in Hawaii. That's sick. Do, 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 do. Oh, Gondor. The beautiful Gondor. Wild bull. Do. I'm just taking screenshots, don't mind me. It's for the next Gondor stream that'll be like in January, you know, past Yuletide, but it's fine. No, honestly, I'll probably do a little bit of Yuletide and then I'll also focus on uh, Gondor the more we play like throughout this week. Mm, CQ say I'm not seeing some of the chat. No, uh, uh, some of the chat is on YouTube, so I'm just. It's some of that. Uh, Sergeant, they're on YouTube chat. Um, Savage, you say nice. It's you say the furthest I've seen is to Rivendell on my champion. Man, Moria? Okay, Moria it's, is awesome. I highly recommend that you get to Moria. It's really cool. Yep, yep. Yeah, I know that's the one thing that kind of sucks. Steve, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the weird community. Uh, I hope you're having a good old day. But that is one thing that does kind of suck about having YouTube chat and Twitch chat because they're not like you guys can't really see it. The only time that you guys can see is if it pops up on my chat log that's up here on stream, like on the overlay. But even then, sometimes the YouTube chats don't come through and I don't know why. But yeah. As Sergeant, you said, when I first started streaming multi-stream, on re you multi-streamed on restream yeah i need to check that out because um i pay for my multi-stream and it sounds like some people aren't paying and i'm like listen if i don't have to pay <laughs> i'm going broke multi-streaming man be like that uh sneak you said the best thing about moria is when you come out the other side into the light <laughs> yes that's true that is true like you go into moria it's all dark and stuff you kind of get used to it, and then it, there becomes like a depressing factor to it. I don't know how the dwarves aren't like all like just mentally ill, because I would be mentally ill not having like sunlight. Like, yeah. Sergeant, you say you didn't pay anything. Wonder if Twitch cares if I use that? No. No, they don't care anymore. The sun never rose um, this morning. Some evil has been unleashed. Is this some sorcery? Uh, do our foe have the power to blanket the skies and shadow? How can we hope to fight against such evil, even with the strong men as Prince taking up the sword? The continuing night has caused the orcs to grow more bold. 
and they've come down out of the mountains after a respite of many years. If you truly are an adventurer, you would do a great service to my people by slaying these creatures and driving them back into the mountains. Look for the creatures northeast. Okay. Sneak, you said, till they send you back in. Yeah. Sergeant, you said, might have to try it again. It was so easy to use. Yep. Yeah, it's, Twitch changed their rules on multi-streaming, so... That's why I'm always just kind of testing it out now. Just to see. There's not but ill oh my gosh, she's giving me so many this darkness things. Is a weight on my mind. Um, I don't know the name, but many in the town did persuade. There's not but persuade ill him. Find and speak days. to someone else who's taken in the woods of driving back the orcish uh, people. Ill omens these days. I guess I'll defeat orcs because I gotta do it anyway. Oh, Collect fish on. from nets. All right, as long as I don't gotta actually fish, then we're good. Um. Ooh, there's the tavern. Uh, ooh, quest. Stay Wait! And hear me Jax! Out. What's he doing here? <laughs> wow, I, that was unexpected. I didn't mean to run into him here. That's so cool. It's our bud. Call there, you say you don't need to, uh, you don't need to be in the sun to produce your their own vitamin D? I guess not. They've got a special ingredient. I uh, Garther, you said that you think that there are some dwarves who aren't mentally ill. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure there are, but <laughs> they just so I, I wouldn't. I, I'm just shocked they're not all mentally ill. Is what I say. <laughs> Calder, you say mentally superior, dude. They must they must have the works, I guess. Gadget said, is he a Corsair or a ninja? You decide. <laughs> he's both, bro. Gadget, he's literally both. Sergeant, you said, hey, my login still works. Gonna try it again tomorrow. Show us all the places you stream uh, to the to in the same chat and where each message comes from. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad that they at least show that. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm like, I feel like when I reply to you guys, I feel like I should be like, yeah, that's Savage over on YouTube who says, nice bet. But like, that's just so much to say. <laughs> that's just so much to say. Calder, you said, should change his name to Brojax. Yes. Stay and hear me out. Rough up some Corsairs. Uh, I'm too busy enjoying this tavern right now to venture with you. <laughs> Wow, uh, like, what a sad rejection, but I'm okay with it, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm sure that they're up there right now. All right, yeah. I'll get some Corsair butts a whooping. We can do it. All right, now that I, I was gonna, like, say, like, okay, guys, we'll probably just wrap up here, but uh, now that we saw Jax, I'm like, yo, bro, we gotta do a little, a little butt kicking, yeah? A little something or another. Uh, where are the fish nets at? Man, I'm not gonna lie. It's really messing with me that this place is totally dark. It really, truly is messing with me. I can't figure out what I'm doing. Um. Hello, sir. You have nothing to say to me. My days are numbered. I don't seek your counsel. Will we ever see the sun again? <laughs> Will we ever see the sun again? Oh my gosh, it's been a couple days, bro. Chill. Uh, I don't want Nimble waiting for my son to return or death from the monsters lurking in the shadows. Ooh, man, that guy is pretty, pretty far down. He's real down in the dumps. Calder, he said he's like, you're cool, but not that cool. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yo. Like, last time he saw me, he was like, I owe you my life. No, he's like, you know, you you are right, but like, it, it's been a good like couple days, so like, eh, you're just, eh, you're okay, you're okay. Not special, not special. Uh, what's the quest over here? Yep, fishing net. Let's go. Rough. Oh, a fishing net was right in front of me, and I did not see it. Do I do? It's Chris, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the weird community. I love my, um, thank you for joining over on Twitch. That's pretty uh, sweet of you. 
Dude. I hope you guys enjoyed the video with Louie, because it's taken me quite a while to get done, and I was very concerned about the quality of it, because the editing was a lot different. Um, and I was worried that it just wouldn't seem good. But um, when I watched it back the other day, I was like, wow, this actually seems like it... Like, okay. Um... What am I looking for? Oh, a dead peasant. Oh, oh, it's a oh, it's a it's a man. It looks like the man died very recently, but you cannot deduce the cause of death. Ooh. That's upsetting. It's Grizz. Yep, you're over here on Twitch. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. I called her. You said tavern must have had the cozy vibe with a side of heavy drink. Maybe that's what it was. Jax is like, I, I, I'm too wasted right now, bro, okay? Oh, help you <laughs> Which, in that case, is probably for the best, you know? It, it probably is. We don't want our mans, you know, what accidentally hit me with a sword under. instead. What has become of our lords in the uh, east, They gather in the tavern, perhaps speaking with them will clear up some of the mystery. Now I have to question people in the tavern. Do, 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 do. This darkness is a weight on my mind. I'm a little confused. You know I know something. Oh, you think I know something. Look, I come here every day to have a pint. That's all I know. You should speak with the barkeep. He's a good man. Keeps me from getting too thirsty. <laughs> he knows the whole lot of the town. Okay, Jack, bro. The bartender is actually good at cutting people off. There's no way you're that you're that hungover. What news do you bring, traveler? Weird hydrate. Thank you, Gadget. Thank you for the weird hydrate gadget. Thank you, thank you. Um, well, this is a sad day. Business has been a little slower recently, with most of the town off to war, and no merchants have come through in days. I can't afford to lose many more patrons. Uh, you say he washed up on the river. You know, I haven't seen many travelers as, as of late, but there is one here right now. He's an odd fellow. Not Gondorian. No, I know what this man's trying to say. I've, um, no Gondorian I've ever seen, but he pays well and seems friendly enough. Maybe you should speak with him. He just came from the town of Lambden. Oh, I thought, yeah, he's starting to speak about Jax, bro. Why Jax didn't do this. Me? Gaddy, it says, seem like the right place for you to drink. Honestly, yeah. The only thing that would stop me from drinking here is I need my parents. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always get... It's so hilarious. Like, if I'm out on my own, I drink. But, like, I cut myself off relatively, like, relatively easier than when I'm with my mom and her boyfriend. Because then I guess I'm like, ah, oh, they'll take care of me. It's fine. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's why you train, why you train drunk so you're always peak true. And you got it. You got it, Calder. You wanted something here. <laughs> um... Enough about me. What have you been up to? Oh, wait. This is an unexpected surprise to see you again. After our last adventure together, I needed to take a little break. Did you, you as well? Some kind of fellow told me about the sleepy town here. Cities in Gondor are too big. That is the truth. I like the woods and the quiet. Um, let's drink and share our adventures. Heck yeah, bro. Let's get it. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> drink responsibly, people. Um, you start telling... Uh, a story of your most recent this adventure. Uh, this does sound... This does not sound like something that I'm interested in, friend. Please do not bother me with these things. <laughs> Talk about something more interesting, such as sailing ships or climbing mountains. Because <laughs> I talked about the body. <laughs> He's just like, bro, I don't give a frick about no body. <laughs> He seems to be deflecting my questions. Perhaps he's just tired from his recent battle. Oh, ooh, I think we got a little too drunk there. Um, well, uh, can you blame the guy? No, Mount Calder. Oh, my God. And you knew, and you knew I was just about to go do that orc quest, bro. You knew it. Don't drink and draw. Okay. Now I can't even be mad that you redeemed it, okay? I can't even be mad about it. Um. 
Oh my gosh, my mom's texting me about Dancing with the Stars stuff. Her and I have been watching Dancing with the Stars because one of our favorite reality TV stars is on it. And she's just giving me updates. That's so cute. Look at Mama Weirdo, you know, doing the things. All right. Five minutes. Five minutes starts now. Okay. I'm not used to the new timer look. All right, we gotta turn this one in. Uh, you say a friend of yours is in the tavern and he's not answered your questions? That seems odd. Uh, might you try reasoning with him to answer you? If he does not, uh, I may have him seized until he we resolve this. Question him again? Whatever. Sneaky so said, does a hobby horse count? <laughs> I wish. Tell me what you need. Calder, I can't even be upset. Lord. I can't even be upset. You're teaching me a good lesson here. You're teaching us all. Um, have another drink with me. Explain to him um, that he must tell you if he knows anything about that body. An idle threat, but I do not want to cause trouble in this town, for I like this place. Uh, he asked you to lean in closer. Uh, he said, I do not want to get involved in this, but I will tell you what I know and no more. After the skies grew dark, I made my way here. The woods were made of blackness from the starless sky. Only torchlight guided my way. As I approached, I saw a man in the woods. He was white as a ghost and not even moving. <laughs> Will you let me I urge you to take a closer face? look at the body. Oh, they might be the same. Um, get more involved. Um, but don't get more involved than I already am, for I am not yet ready to travel further east. Ooh. Gotta keep the adventures out of the gutter. I, yeah, true. Hmm. Something's fishy. Oh, man. If only we could, you know, use our mounts right here. Sending Steve, you said, sorry I didn't say hi. I was in the middle of something, Ella with Theo. <laughs> You're totally fine. But how's it going, Steve? How, how's your day been? But no worries. I totally get it. I, I, I do that all the time. Be like, wait. All right. It does look quite pale. Look at it again. Oh, <gasps> it's a spy. The time the town could be spied on. What? Dude, that's fishy. There's dead spies. Wait, you redeemed another no mount scolder? Oh my gosh. All right, well, let me get through the first one and then we'll keep the second one going. <laughs> we'll keep it going. Doop, doop. Uh, Stevie say not too shabby, just gaming. Was PvPing on Lotro earlier, but I needed a break a little. Dude, that's fair. So do you PvP a lot? I literally have not done, like, the player versus monster player in so long. But it seems to be, like, there is, like, on specific nights, there seems to be, like, a group of people that do it. So, um, I'm not sure if that's something that you do frequently or not. I'm gonna bind myself here because it does seem like questing wise we're gonna be here for a second. Corsairs, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Whatever, Calder. Um, even in death, what possesses some to um to do what they do? I have no pity for the spirits. I've cleared Jax's name. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, he's our friend. Uh Steve, you said in an ad uh we'll catch up when I'm out. Okay, got you. Uh I did not know about those ghostly men. Not much bothers Jax, but the dead I find disturbing. That is why I did not want to get involved. I'm glad that you sent them away. Now I can stay here longer and have some more of this fine ale. Have another drink with me, friend. Heck yeah! Let's chug, 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 chug. Quite good, heck yeah. Dude, he chugged too. He stood up and chugged. Jax, it's so good to see you, my friend. It's so good to see you. I feel like he's the um he's the Han Solo to my Lando Calrissian. That's what that's what J Jax is. No, I lost frames. Um, Calder, you said I warned you. I'd start the pot a little bit tonight. Oh gosh. Oh, do you say, uh, I see you're going to drink more? Oh my gosh. You just knew. You just knew ahead of time. You just knew. Man, I'm dropping so many frames tonight. Don't know why. Okay, I have 26 seconds left, and then I'll redeem another five minute no melt. 
Uh, while I run around aimlessly looking for things, I'm looking for signs of hope. There is no hope when there are no mounts. Um. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Oh, I thought I was gonna roll. All right, the timer is going off. It is done. Now I'm going to set another five minute no mounts timer. Eh. I need to like actually get a timer like on stream. That'd be a lot easier for y'all, I bet. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> need to get back up. Man, lag is just killer today. Do 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 do. Oh man, who's sending me? Oh, reduced awareness. No, no, the lag is killing stream. What is going on? Ark, no, I'm on Crick Hollow, Steve. That's what's crazy. Yeah, Steve, I was asking you about like player versus uh monster player, uh, because I haven't played it in a while, so I wasn't sure like if it's like a decent um sort of group that you've got going on because it does seem like there are a couple of people that are kind of like creating their own little nights uh with a group of people playing like monster players and whatnot yeah arc is a lag fest yeah yeah i know arc is so bad lately that's why i'm on crick hollow because i'm like hey you know the smaller the server the better right <laughs> but apparently crick hollow is starting to get way too busy <laughs> Yeah, I still have reduced awareness on. That's crazy. That's so crazy. We lagging so, so bad. So, so bad. I can feel it. Even my drunkness seems laggy. <laughs> I don't know what that's even supposed to mean, but it, it just makes sense, okay? It just, it just makes sense. Calder, you said the devs agree the ARC servers were crap, and they're working on improving it. Good. Heck yeah, like it's been crazy. Do Ark Ark and Stone's been wild. Oh. Holy crap. That spider was spooky. Oh my goodness, Crick Hollows are is going to crap, man. They fixed it by pushing some of the lag on a crick and it's breaking crick. That's what's going on here. I've solved the case. Um, I need flowers. Flowers. Anyone see any flowers? Just any flowers of any kind. Or orcs. Orcs are fine too. I really don't see any orcs. It's a little disappointing. Um, do do do. Let us sort this out. Uh, Stunning Steve, you say, I'm a PvP main. I took, like, uh, a one-year break, started streaming a BR game while I was away, but came back about four months ago. Nice. Well, that's cool. I'm impressed that you're a PvP main. Most people aren't. Like, normally, um, PvP is just not the, th not the way. I guess for Lotro, anyway. Oh, you took like a 10 year break. Oh, okay. I was like, holy crap, that's crazy to have like a one year break from Lotro. Like that's for like the shortest break I've ever heard of, <laughs> but 10 years makes a lot more sense. That makes, that makes more sense. That makes more sense, yeah. But that's cool, welcome back in. Is there an orc totem? I don't like that. What server? I'm so glad I don't do, like, raids or anything like that, because this would really suck. Igartha, you said, uh, so you've really done PvP and still put up with the dishwasher PvP in Lotro. <laughs> yes! Stunning, uh, you say, met my ex-fiance in the game when we split, I quit. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, I would too. Be like, yo, what's up? Yep, you're on arc, nice. Oh, 
da, 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 da. I don't even know if I know the if I need the totems, but why not? Wag. All right, the timer went off on the mounts. Both no mounts have been redeemed. Stunning Steve, you say, yep, I played about every VR game there is over the years, but I love Lotro PV, uh, player versus monster player. I don't know why, but it just has a charm to it. Aw, that's true. It does have a charm. Oh, I did not mean to hit that. <laughs> it's so bad, y'all. There we go, there's something. Look at it. That's how bad the lag is. <laughs> I'm just now hitting my skills. <laughs> what is it? Like a five second delay or something? Something like that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Calder, you, you want a trainer for player versus monster player? That's awesome. Um, I guess I'll just keep taking out the orcs. Oh wow, you've definitely been on a couple servers then, Stunning Steve. Alright, you said it was known for my two characters, my champ and my warden. Noise. Uh, Calder, you said, cool, I just started on arc noise. Yeah, it seems to be that, it seems like everyone in this chat either goes arc or crick. <laughs> I don't know why, that's just what our community is filled with. Either arc and stone players or crick hollow players. And then there's like, the one or two that are like, Brandywine and Landrevolt. <laughs> Uh, Savvy, you say, I have characters in all and I take turns. Honestly, I do need to go on a different server at some point. Like, actually have, like, characters that have been played for quite a while on different servers. Because normally, it's just, like, it's just me with, like, one character who's, like, super relatively high and the rest are just all low-leveled. And I don't know. They're just... I wish that there was a server where it was like it wasn't totally of just low levels or just like that one high character and then like nothing but low levels like I wish there was a good average between all servers. Um So you see if you say yeah you will see me running my mouth on my guard in world chat. I got you. Calder you said I was on Land Troll, but wanted uh, the most players in case I ever feel like raiding. That is fair. Uh, Jaffa, you say yay, grats on 100. Thank you, Jaffa, thank you. Hello, I hope you're doing well today, Jaffa. I can't believe how bad the lag is treating us. All right, we're gonna bring signs of hope to the sir. Uh, we will have to wrap up stream here y'all because it is quiet time at my apartment so i do need to end it but we're gonna turn in these two quests and then we're gonna end stream will we ever see the sun again? and what is the meaning of this these things are meant to cheer me up this is foolishness it is not a simple matter of waning prosperity in my veil but perhaps it could be useful as i admire your persistence in some ways you remind me of my wife rest her soul she loved the veil until her death when my 
No light of day. Aww. The beacon's light signifies it's my son's safe return. I fear the darkness that swept over the land is choking the beacon's flame. The air we breathe is growing stale. At the flame falls, surely we are next. The beacon has been slowly waning. I see it dim with each passing day. Will you tend to it? I can do that for you, sir. Um, gadget you said, oh, reduced awareness. Your server must be popular tonight. I believe it is. Let me triple check, man. We're at 335 entries, public entries. That's pretty relatively high for uh, Crick Hollow. Uh, Jaffa, you're totally fine. No worries. Uh, Sunny CV, say quiet time. God, I'd be screwed. Oh, yeah, it's... Honestly, it's fine, because, like, normally the neighbors uh, and all of us, like, we never we never follow it. We like, It's like, if you're a crappy neighbor, then, yeah, you this follow it. But, like, at the mind. same time, like, you know, if you're cool with your neighbors, like, it, it's cool. Like, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's just, like, this unspoken, like, thing. <laughs> like, it's in our leases, but it's, like, it's, like, it's fine if well you, like... Met. You know, I, I, if, if you just go over the line a little bit, no one's going to care. But um, I did just move, so I, I'm, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't want to be too, too freaking crazy today. <laughs> now, on the weekends, it'd be a little different, but most people got to work tomorrow, so I don't, I don't want to intrude. So I'd be upset if I had to work tomorrow and people are up, like, you know, super late, just like, you know, screaming and yelling at their computer. Uh, because uh, this definitely happened with my old neighbors. I don't know if they were streamers or if they just played, like, horror games all the time. But they were always screaming and yelling and crying, and I could always hear, like, everything. And I was like, bro, you sound like me playing a horror game. So I can't even judge, but it's just like, bro, it's 1 a.m. You are way past quiet time. <laughs> anyway, I rest my case. Uh, so, uh... Jaffa, you say it's 3 a.m. here anyway? Oh my gosh, Jaffa. Yeah, you gotta go to bed. But thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Yeah, we gotta wrap up stream here for today, y'all. But don't worry, because there are so many streams coming out here. Uh, we are going to raid someone, so please stick around. Um, but next stream will be Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are playing Yuletide Fest. You guessed it. I'm so freaking pumped for this. I've been waiting all year for this time of year, so <laughs> I'm ecstatic. And then if you miss Thursday stream, don't worry, because there will be a stream at 4 p.m. Eastern time Friday doing more Yuletide. And we'll have an even earlier stream on Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time doing more Yuletide. So there is quite a lot of Yuletide to be going around this week and probably for the next couple of weeks. So. It'll be a lot of fun. But thank you all for being here. I really appreciate all the subs, all the follows, all the chit-chatting bits, all that. That's awesome. Thank you all. I so appreciate you guys. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you. Um, we are going to figure out who we're going to go raid. Uh, Savage, you say, be safe traveling the road. I, I'll try. I My car's actually been giving me issues, which kind of really upsets me. But, um, yeah been giving me issues so i'm just gonna hope that it all works out um hi you say thank you aubrey we love you oh hi that's so sweet thank you i appreciate you hi gadget you say have a great night weird lady thank you uh and i will do your jaffa i will do that weird hydrate in one second once i find someone we can raid okay night yeah you have a good night too jaffa Great arrows on. Um, new player Lotro. Rusty Nugget Rise. What? What? <laughs> That's a crazy user name. Uh, we're gonna go raid Gray Arrow tonight. I'm actually shocked there aren't many more people streaming Lotro tonight. What the heck? Everybody's sleeping. It's the holidays. It gets a little crazy. I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> let us, um, please feel free to copy and paste the raid message if you are on Twitch. Uh, and then let me raid right arrow. Let's get it popping. 
Woo, we're starting the raid, and then I will weird hydrate. Jaffa, I got you. Let's go. Uh, Stunning CV said, I've been taking a month break reworking some deep fake tech. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh, well, have a good night, Stunning Steve. Thanks for being here. Uh, we're gonna go raid, uh, Great Arrow. And, yeah, so I hope y'all have a great night. Uh, like I said, thank you so much for all the follows, all the subs. Don't forget to check out the video I did with Louis 7 Uh, the link is posted. It's pinned up on YouTube and on Twitch. So do not forget to check that out. It was a lot of fun doing it, and hopefully Louis will be back relatively soon we got a couple ideas in the works so um stay tuned for more <laughs> but yeah thank you all so much i appreciate you all you have a good night everybody take care and let's go say hi to the gray arrow so have a good one bye weirdos stay weird goodbye everyone bye bye have a good one ggs goodbye goodbye bye bye everybody